What is going on, everyone? Welcome to another edition of Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube, where I'll be doing live play-by-play -play with live reactions to college basketball games throughout the regular season all the way into the conference tournament. And tonight we have a pretty good matchup in store for you guys as a Pac-12 battle going on in the Southwest with two Arizona teams, both of them rivals, battling it out on the court tonight in Tempe, Arizona at the Wells Fargo Arena. Tonight between the Arizona Wildcats and the Arizona State Sun Devils at home tonight for this one. Both of the team's records are kind of similar for this game. Before I get into Arizona and Arizona State in the matchup, when we're about five minutes or so away from tip-off, feel free to like my channel and remember to spread the word about my channel. And feel free also to hit that subscribe button down below as I'll go through a little bit of the pregame information about both of the teams before we get into the matchup about three or four minutes away from tip-off or so. So the Arizona State Sun Devils against the Arizona Wildcats in this one. Both of these teams on the bubble right now. We'll start off with a home Arizona State Sun Devils for this one. Coming in 14-6 and six overall, 5-3 and three in Pac-12 play. They're 9-2 and two at home on the season. They're coming off on their last game they lost. That was on Saturday, a heartbreaker at USC where the Sun Devils only shot the ball from the field 30.6% in the loss against USC. As this is the 235th meeting between the two teams as Arizona – leads the series 152 to 82 currently in this one is this is the first of three games in a row for the Arizona State Sun Devils. Arizona State they've out rebounding out rebounded 17 out of their 20 opponents so far this year as the Sun Devils converted 22 out of 25 free throws in that loss on Saturday to USC as well. But how about the rebounding game lately for Arizona State? They had 48 rebounds against UCLA last Thursday. They added 49 against USC on Saturday. It's the most rebounds in a Pac-12 game since 2013 for Arizona State with their 48 rebounds uh, last Thursday and then Saturday with 49. The key player to look out for tonight for the Sun Devils will be the senior forward, Zylan Cheatham. He's only one of 18 players right now in college basketball who's averaging a double-double currently. And he is only one of two players in the nation who's averaging three assists as well as Ethan Happ of Wisconsin is the other player. So Zylan Cheatham could be a factor tonight for Arizona State if they want to go victorious in this one as Cheatham grabbed. That is 20 rebounds he grabbed last Thursday against UCLA. That's the most by an Arizona State Sun Devil player since current Orlando Magic assistant coach Mike Batiste did that. And he had 20 rebounds for the Sun Devils. That was back on November 19th, 1997. We'll flip the script here as we're a couple of minutes away from tip-off between Arizona and Arizona State. We'll look at the visiting Arizona Wildcats in this one, coming on a two-game losing streak, getting blown out in both of those games. They lost last Thursday at USC by 23 in that game, 80-57. to 57. And then on Saturday, they got absolutely blown out again against UCLA, lost 90-69. to 69. And now when the Arizona Wildcats, the reason most likely they're getting blown out is because they're without their star center, Chase Jeter, who... Injured his back against Oregon State. That was back on January 19th. So he's been out for the past couple of games for Arizona. They've lost two in a row as they've lost Jeter to injury the past few games. As also, the scoring is a big thing as well. as Arizona can only muster 57 in the loss against USC. They can only muster 69 in the loss against UCLA. And they gave up 90 points and 80 points in those two games as Chase Jeter averages around 12.6 points per game. He's fourth right now in the Pac-12 for shooting per percentage. He's converted on 62.1% of his shots from the field. So that's been a big loss the past few games. We'll have to see if he's back for this game tonight. I think the last check-in 
on Chase Jeter was that he wasn't sure if he was going to be back for this game either. I think they were hoping that he was going to be back for next week, though. As Arizona, they're closing out their three-game road trip tonight as the Wildcats, they've won the past six meetings against the Sun Devils. As Arizona, one of the things they do well is the turnover margin. They have a plus 3.9 right now. That's the best currently in the Pac-12 Conference. Junior guard Dylan Smith for the Wildcats. He's shooting a team-leading best 43.8% from three-point range coming into this game. And the sophomore forward, Ira Lee, scored in double figures the past two games for Arizona. Arizona, they also had a season-high 11 steals on Saturday against UCLA in that game. Freshman guard Devonair Dutri have had six steals in the past two games for the Wildcats. As Arizona, they haven't lost in Tempe since 2015 as the Wildcats are 8-2 and two in the last 10 games against the Sun Devils. The key player to watch out for tonight for Arizona, that would be the sophomore guard. Brandon Randolph, as he leads the team in scoring, averaging 14.9 points per game. He scored double-digit points in 19 out of the 21 games they play this season. Randolph is averaging around 9.9 points per game this season in the second half, as he's been the second-half go-to man for this Arizona Wildcats team, as Brandon Randolph is shooting a perfect 27 for 27 from the free throw free throw line going into this game this season and those perfect 27 of 27 from that charity strike comes in the last five minutes of the second half of games this season. Arizona, one thing to note is that they opened up as a five point underdog on the odds betting line. Betting line for this one is that's Arizona's largest point spread in Pac-12 play right now in more than two years. So they came into this game when the betting line started as a five-point underdog to the Sun Devils. Both of these teams right now currently sitting on the bubble. We're a couple of minutes away from tip-off, hopefully. As this is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube, feel free to like my videos, spread the word, and subscribe to my channel as well. What I do is play-by-play -play and live reaction to college basketball games when I watch them on the television screen and that's what I'll do when this game starts in a few minutes here as Arizona Arizona State's at home Arizona away for this one away on the season for Arizona they're three and three in away games this season 14 and seven overall five and three in Pac-12 play against the top 25 the Wildcats are 0 and two as they lost those two games in the top 25 to Number four, Gonzaga, 91 to 74 early in conference play. And they lost, they lost, uh, yeah, it was back to back top 25 games against Gonzaga. And then they played Auburn next. They lost that one as well, 73 to 57. They lost that one. And it's not helping out on at all with Arizona's resume that the Auburn Tigers keep on losing. They've dropped out of the top 25. They're 13 and six overall and two and four right now in SEC play. Other losses that could determine if Arizona gets into the tournament or not. They're currently on the bubble tonight. This will be a huge away win for them to win tonight. It, if they lose, it would make them step back in the wrong direction and out of the projected tournament bracket as this game is huge for both of the squads tonight. As Arizona on the season, other losses include the Alabama Crimson Tide. They lost at Alabama by three. Alabama is also in the bubble, 13-7 and seven overall, 4-3 and three in the SEC. Another bubble team that Arizona lost to was the Baylor Bears, lost to them 58-49 to in non-conference play. As Baylor's on the bubble currently with a record of 14-6, and 5-2 and two in the Big 12. And then the loss that really killed them, was a few weeks ago when they hosted Oregon in Tucson and they lost that game 59 to 54. Now Oregon was projected to be a top 12 team this season. They started off in the pre preseason poll inside the top 15 or so and then they just dropped out completely. Oregon currently sits with a record of 12 and 8 overall, 3 and 4 in the Pac-12 as Oregon's looking 
more like an NIT team as we're almost about to get started here in Tempe between Arizona, Arizona State. We'll look into that Pac-12 standings right now for both of these teams as Arizona State is tied for third currently with a bunch of teams in the conference. One of them is Arizona. These are all the teams that sit at five and three in the conference. USC, Arizona State, Arizona, and UCLA as well. So all those teams five and three in Pac-12 play right now. Oregon State at four and three. Oregon at three and four. And leading the way is the Washington Huskies, who's undefeated right now in the Pac-12, eight and zero oh inside the Pac-12, seventeen and four overall. Doing it defensively with Matisse Thibault as well as the Washington Huskies are currently number two in the nation for blocks per game, right behind Duke as. We're almost about to go to tip off in this one. Zylan Cheatham is the one to watch out for in double figures for both points per game on average and rebounds average. Averages around 11.8 points per game this season. He He's first in the conference for rebounds, around 10.4 rebounds currently this season. And Cheatham could be a factor tonight. He shoots the ball around 61.3% from the floor. As we'll introduce the coaches. Here, Bobby Hurley in his fourth season at Arizona State, the head coach for this one. 64 and 53 record currently with a 54.7 winning percentage. And we got the tip off set for this one. Arizona State will be looking to score in the basket towards the right of the court. And Arizona looking to score in the basket towards the left. Arizona State in the yellow and maroon Home jerseys, Arizona in the red and dark blue away jerseys. As Arizona State tried to take the ball into the lane when 19.42 left in. Looks like we already have a foul on the play. As, yeah, I just checked. Chase Jeter back on the bench for this one. Did not shoot up. So that was a foul by Arizona. Arizona State will get the ball back as they inbound in 19.40 remaining. As Remy Martin passes it, and now it's to the hands of Mickey Mitchell. Ball goes inside, low towards the baseline, dribbling with it inside. It's Cheatham. Cheatham puts it over the top and up and in between defenders off the glass. 2 nothing Sun Devils to start. Arizona with the ball, 19-19 remaining in the first. Dribbling with the ball. Jumper floated in the air, and it's short, but it's an offensive rebound and put back up and in. Ira Lee for the Wildcats. Got that one to go. And an offensive foul by Arizona State leads to Arizona to get the ball back. So Arizona takes the charge and the Wildcats will get the ball back. So if you're just joining us, the score is 2-2 two two with 19.03 left to go. The Wildcats with the ball now as they take it past the timeline. Passing towards the left side with it. Brandon Randolph dribbling towards the right. Behind the perimeter, hands it off to Justin Coleman. Back to Randolph. Randolph dribbling baseline, kicks it back outside. Left corner, left wing three. From the outside, nothing but net for Arizona. Five to two. Big three-pointer right there for the Wildcats. And now it was Dylan Smith who hit that three. Arizona State with the ball, passing around the perimeter towards the top of the key with Remy Martin. Calling up the play. 18-25 left to go. Sun Devils down by three. Martin trying to dribble in the lane, and it's almost stolen and poked away. Arizona State gets it back. Right wing three. Rim down. No good by Lou Dortz. And the Sun Devils put it back in. Five to four. Arizona with the ball. They take it past the timeline. As you're just joining us, feel free to like my video, share, and subscribe tonight. Pretty big game. For bubble contention in the Pac-12 between Arizona, Arizona State. Arizona misses the three ball. R rimmed out, rebounded by the Sun Devils. Three by Arizona State, and it's saved before it goes out of bounds. Sun Devils in transition. They're stripped of the ball. Going the other way with it's the Wildcats. And Arizona stripped of the ball. Back across the timeline. The score is 5-4. to four. Arizona's up with 17.35 left to go. Arizona State with the ball towards the top of the key, dribbling towards the right with it. Remy Martin at the Wells Fargo logo, calling the play. Passes the ball off to Lou Dort. Top of the key, almost threw it out of the way to Martin, but he gets it back. Martin now dribbling behind the perimeter, passes it off. 
and cross court throw to Rob Edwards in the game who takes a three and could not hit it with zero on the shot clock and the ball goes out of bounds. So Arizona will get the ball back. The score is 5-4 to four with 17-10 left to go. And the latest in Joe Lunardi's bracketology says that the winner in the latest projected bracket, the loser is out. As it looks like Washington and then one other team for Pac-12 right now trying to go inside. Off the glass, up and in for Arizona. And they had two more with 1644 left. That was Ira Lee who went inside the paint and scored off the glass for the Wildcats. 1636 left to go in the first. The Sun Devils with the ball and a jumper from the free throw line. It goes down for Arizona State. It's Remy Martin, the point guard, who gets that one home. Arizona with the ball now around the right wing of the perimeter with the ball dribbling. Brandon Williams feeds the ball inside. And oh, a miss slam dunk by Arizona. Rebounded by Arizona State. That was an open slam dunk that he missed in the three ball in transition. Goes down for the Sun Devils, and they make you pay like that. Rob Edwards hits the shot from the outside. He's 41% from three-point range this season. Top of the key three for Arizona. Rimmed out. Rebounded by the Sun Devils. Taken past the left side of the timeline now. With Arizona State trying to dribble on sides. Lou Dort could not get it to go. And the ball almost was an offensive rebound by Ramella White. Couldn't get it into his hands. Arizona gets the ball back. The Wildcats dribbling baseline, deep baseline jumper, and it hits for Arizona. Tied up at 9, 15 and a half left in this battle for Arizona. Brandon Randolph hit that last shot. At the right wing now with the ball for the Sun Devils. Lou Dort feeds the ball out to Cheatham, who passes the ball off to Rob Edwards, and they say that he travels with it, so it'll be a turnover for Arizona State. Got our first time out on the floor. I'll update the chat with the score. This is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. Feel free to like my videos, share, and subscribe to my channel as well. This game so far, we're knotted up at 9, and I'll get you into the box score in a little bit. I'll update the score here as we thank you all for joining me. So 9-9, nine nine, pretty even game so far in this one. We'll go into the box score since I'm going to go into here and I'm going to download this. I'm going to see what's going on in the box score between both of these teams, see who the lead, leading shooters are for both squads tonight. As for Arizona, it looks like four points by Ira Lee leading the way for the Wildcats right now. He also has a rebound to add to his name. As well for Arizona State, they they're working as a team trying to get those points in tonight. As it looks like there's a group of guys, four guys with two points right now by the Sun Devils, and then Rob Edwards is leading the scoring right now. He had the three pointer that went down, so he has three points, and then Zylon Cheatham in there with two. Uh, who who else we got? Remy Martin. Yep, he hit that shot from the free. Uh, free throw circle, the jumper, so he has two as well in there for Arizona State. And we'll also go to both of the team stats, see what how they're shooting right now. The ball, four for nine from the field for Arizona State, 44% from the field. Arizona currently shooting the ball four for eight at 50%. From the field as we're almost back here. Arizona State's out-rebounding Arizona so far 6-3. to three. So we're on the timeout. Almost getting ready back to play. With a score 9-9 nine to nine with 15 minutes, 20 seconds left in this one. Sean Miller, the head coach for Arizona. He's in his 10th season for the Wildcats. He has five Pac-12 regular season championships. Along with three Pac-12 tournament, tournament titles. He's got a record of 261 wins and 81 losses. Good for a winning percentage of 76.3%. 
Along with that resume, Sean Miller has seven NCAA March Madness tournament appearances, and he hasn't missed a tournament since 2012 with this Arizona team. Arizona has the ball back on the inbounds. 15.05 left to go in the first. Deep three by Arizona, rimmed out, hit the front rim, and looks like the Wildcats do get the offensive rebound. So they set it up again with a ball towards the left wing. Devonair Dutrieve with it, and he passes it off towards the low post, trying to back his way in there. And, oh, that was Chase, yeah, Chase G there at first. I, I didn't, yeah, we didn't see him suit up, but go another way off the steal. Remy Martin with a slam for Arizona State. So, yeah, the center for Arizona, this is big tonight. Chase G there is in there. So he didn't start the game for Arizona. They showed him on the stream on the bench earlier, and he wasn't in his jersey, but now he's out there. So he was injured the past few games as he got injured January 19th against Oregon State, and he's back out there. Arizona just turned the ball over as they try to pass it towards the right corner outside, and the ball goes out of bounds. But, yeah, Chase Jeter is in there. What happened was Chase Jeter tried to go inside with a spin move. He was stripped away with a ball, and Remy Martin got in and slammed in. And then Arizona State with the ball now, and another shot from the outside, dialed up for the Sun Devils. Goes down, and they're up 13-9. 14 minutes left to go in the first. Arizona takes it past the timeline towards the right side behind the three-point line with it. And now dribbling towards the top of the key, top of the key three. And nothing but net from the outside for the Wildcats. 13 to 12 as the three ball gets dialed up from the outside for Arizona. Arizona State back with the ball in the yellow and maroon jerseys. This is Lou Dortz with it, looking for somebody to pass it to. Finally finds Cheatham, who feeds the ball open towards the left wing with it's Remy Martin. Martin now dribbling towards the top of the key. Deep two jumper from the elbow. No good and rebounded by the Wildcats. Taken up past the timeline with the ball now is Dutrieve as he passes it off. Low baseline to Jeter. Jeter trying to do the spin move inside. He gets stripped of the ball in the lane, but the ball gets poked down. And it's a foul that will be called by Arizona State with a score 13 to 12. Sun Devils up right now with 13 14 left to go in the first. So Chase Jeter coming back from injury for Arizona. He is out there tonight. We didn't see him play early in the game, he was sitting on the bench. But now he's come back out. He missed the past two games against UC UCLA on Saturday and the last Thursday against USC. But he's back in. Arizona the inbound it towards the left wing behind the arc. Now at the free throw line with the ball for the Wildcats. And it's Justin Coleman who has it in his hands. Passes it off. Deep two from the elbow. And it could not fall for Dutrieve. Rebounded by the Sun Devils. Taken past the timeline with the ball. This is Cheatham. We try to dribble baseline, kicks it back outside to Rob Edwards. He'll set up the offense, put the ball into the hands of Remy Martin, the point guard for Arizona State. We have 12 minutes, 45 seconds left to go in the first. Arizona State's up 13 to 12. Big game on the bubble turnover by the Sun Devils. Going the other way for Arizona, and the layup could not go by Dutrieff. It was rebounded, offensive rebound by Jeter, but the ball was Knocked out of bounds by Arizona, and they turn it over. It looked like an easy, easy basket that Dutrieff could not hit as it fell short of the rim. Jeter got the offensive board and just lost control of the ball at the baseline. So Arizona turns the ball over. The Sun Devils will get the ball back up 13-12 to with 12.30 left to go in the first. As Arizona's passing the ball around the perimeter now towards the left side. As we thank you all for joining my stream. This is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. And I'll be doing live play-by-play, -play, live reaction to college basketball games throughout the regular season. All the way into the conference tournament. So feel free to like my videos, share, and subscribe as well. We do have, we have a stoppage in time here. Let's see if there was a foul on the play. Yes, there was. So Arizona picks up their second foul. The Sun Devils will inbound it with 12-10 left to go in the first. With the balls, Remy Martin towards the right side behind the three-point line. He's dribbling in towards the free throw circle. Passes the ball off to Kamani Lawrence. Off the bench, kicks the ball out baseline towards the left corner. And Arizona fouls the Sun Devils again. 
with 11.58 left to go, 13.12 to score. We have a timeout on the floor, so feel free to like my videos as well. Spread the message about my channel and share and subscribe as well. This is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. I'm going to post in the chat to update this score of this game. So we got 13 for Arizona State and 12 for the Arizona State Wildcats. Thirteen to twelve. We have eleven minutes fifty-eight seconds left to go in the first. Pretty good game so far here. Uh yeah, it's been a pretty good week of streams for college basketball. Pretty interesting week. I'm gonna check in on that college scoreboard. See how Purdue's doing on Sunday. I did. Oh goodness, there. So Purdue, seventeenth in the nation right now, going up against Penn State. This game is tied and going to overtime. So 85-85 Purdue against Penn State as we're on a timeout right now with Arizona and Arizona State. I did the stream on Sunday I did was Michigan State against Purdue, and Purdue just blew them right out, blew the Spartans right out in that one. And looking at the top 25 games tonight as we're checking into the scoreboard here while Arizona-Arizona State's on commercial break, Purdue just scored. So Travion Williams made a layup to put the Boilermakers up by 2, 87-85 as the overtime just started between Purdue and Penn State. As we look to other top 25 games going on, not really that much going on as well. This one just hit final. <laughs> Number 13, Houston Cougars beat Temple today, 73-66. to So another big win for Houston to improve to 21-1. On the season, eight and one in the American, a team to watch out for, for sure. Corey Davis Jr. having another great night for the Cougars with 24 points in that one. This game between Purdue and Penn State still going. Carson Edwards, who's in the top five right now in college basketball for points per game, averaging, he already has 34 points tonight in this one. We're almost back to action here between Arizona and Arizona State. A big battle between the Wildcats and the Sun Devils, especially when it comes to the March Madness bracket. Arizona coming into this game 14 and 7, 5 and 3 overall. Arizona State 14 and 6, 5 and 3 in the Pac-12 as well. As we're almost back to action, both of these coaches, Bobby Hurley with a record of 64 and 53 for the Sun Devils as his squad made it into the March Madness tournament last year, but they lost to Syracuse in the play-in round to get to that 11 seed in the round of 64. We're back to this one. Arizona State gets the inbound, and they shoot the ball at the free throw line with 11 minutes, 51 seconds left. And looks like Arizona gets charged with a foul. Alex Barcelo will be charged with a shooting foul there. So the Sun Devils will go to the line. As we see in Joe Lunardi's Bracketology on ESPN, tonight's winner in the bracket, tonight's loser out. However, we still have a ton of basketball left before March Madness, so anything can happen. First shot from the free throw line by Arizona State, no good by Remy Martin. The score st still 13-12, to 12. Sun Devils up by one. Second shot from the line, Remy hits that one. 14 to 12, Arizona State. Arizona to inbound it. The Wildcats take it past the timeline towards the right side behind the three point line. Arizona with the ball. Dutrieve passes the ball off and now into the hands of Ira Lee. Throws the ball right wing three. Devonair Dutrieve and it's way off. Hit the bottom part of the backboard towards the left. Rebounded by the Sun Devils. Remy Martin with the ball. Now he's trying to dribble inside. Kicks it back outside. Outside three. Could not go down for Kamani Lawrence. And fought for and rebounded by Arizona. As it looked like for a second the ball could have gone into the hands of Tayshawn Cherry for Arizona State. But he could not cleanly grab the rebound. He fell on the ground as well. And we have a stoppage in time here with a minute, uh, 11 minutes, 18 seconds left to go in the first half. Let's see. So, yeah, the ball just got poked from the back of Cherry's hands for Arizona State on that replay, and Arizona gets the ball back. So Arizona with the inbounds now 
They have the ball, take it past the timeline with 11.08 left to go towards the left side behind the three-point line. Feeds it to the right corner, open three for the Wildcats, and no, it could not fall for Alex Barcelo, rebounded by the Sun Devils. In a deep three, oh, it could not hit either for Arizona State, rebounded by Arizona. The ball, again, in the hands of Dutree. He takes it past the timeline, trying to go inside. Floats it up over the top, and it's up and in for Arizona. So 14 to 14 for Arizona. They've tied this game. Arizona State with the ball. Into the hands of Remy Martin, dribbling in. Deep elbow two. No good. Rimmed out. Rebounded by the Wildcats. They take it up in transition. One man to beat in. They could not get it to fall. And the offensive foul is called. So Arizona trying to go into the lane and lay it up and in. And Arizona State takes the charge with 10 minutes, 21 seconds left to go in this one. And the ball will be going back to the Sun Devils. So the score currently 14-14. 10-21 left to go in the first, and the Sun Devils will get the ball back. As Arizona State inbounds it, 10-18 left to go. As they're going to pass the timeline right now, and they do. Lou Dortz with the ball in his hands as they pass it off. Dortz dribbling. Dortz trying to go inside, and you cannot get the bucket to fall. He gets fouled, though, and he'll go to the line for two with 10-09 left to go in the first. And thank you all for watching my stream as this is Behind the Arc Basketball. And what I do is I do play-by-play -play and live reactions to college basketball games throughout the regular season all the way through the conference tournament and up and through the March Madness tournament as well. As this game is huge tonight for both of the teams. Lou Dort from the line, 64% on the season, and he hits his first. So Arizona State's up 15 to 14. Lou Dort hit his first from the line. Here's his second one. Hits that one as well for a Lou. So it's 16 to 14. The Sun Devils up by two. As Chase Jeter is coming back from injury. He's on the bench right now for Arizona. He has zero points and two fouls already in this game. We just passed the half halfway mark in the first half. So we have a stoppage in time with 9 minutes, 57 seconds left to go in the first. If you're just joining us, the score is Arizona State 16, Arizona 14. This game at the Wells Fargo Arena in Tempe, Arizona. The, the Wildcats to inbound the ball. With the ball in his hands is Dylan Smith. And he tried to go up for the shot. He went for the shot in the low post. and. The ball gets stuck in between the rim and the backboard. So another wedgie. I saw that yesterday when I did the stream with Virginia Tech and Virginia Tech and Miami. The ball got stuck wedged in between the rim and the backboard, and that just happened. So the refs will say the possession will go back to Arizona now. They're behind the three-point line, dribbling with the ball. Left side with it. Ira Lee passes the ball off for Arizona. As the ball's into the hands of Dylan Smith now. Smith trying to go inside the lane. Oh, he's too strong off the glass. Rebounded by the Sun Devils. They take it back in transition. Left corner three. Oh, it's good. Up and in for Arizona State. Dialing up the three ball. Rob Edwards has eight tonight for Arizona State. 19 to 14. Sun Devils up. That ball almost went on the bounds by Arizona. They do get it back. However, dribbling now behind the arcs, Brandon Randolph. Randolph passes the ball. Left wing three. No good. Rimmed out by Dylan Smith. Rebounded by the Sun Devils. Taken past the timeline for ASU. Trying to go inside. No good. But the offensive board. And up and in. But the refs, refs won't count it. They'll call Arizona. Charged with the foul before the shot went up and in on the offensive rebound. So Zylan Cheatham. Went into the lane to put up the shot. His shot was short. Arizona State got the offensive rebound, put it up and in. But it looks like Cheatham will go to the line for two as the foul will happen to Cheatham shooting it. His first shot from the line, no good for Zylan Cheatham. Impact player on this team for sure. He had a career high, 20 rebounds 
against UCLA last Thursday in that game. Cheatham, second one from the line, hits that one. 20 to 14, Sun Devils are up. Zylan Cheatham right now, he's first in the conference in rebounds per game. He also has a double double for his stats here with 11.8 points average per game as the shot goes down for Arizona to make it 20 to 16. And Cheatham averages 10.4 rebounds per game as Brandon Randolph hit that shot from the right elbow. Arizona State with the ball now up 20 to 16. Huge game tonight for for tournament pro projections in the bracket. Who's in, who's out? Arizona State with the ball. Lob pass. Fed down low for the Sun Devils. Romello White kicks it back outside. Top of the key three. No good by Kamani Lawrence. And it's rebounded by the Wildcats. Taken past the timeline. Now with Arizona State. Shoots it out to the left corner. No good. The three ball missed. And the ball gets knocked out of bounds. And there's last touched. Rolled by the refs by Arizona. So it looks like the Sun Devils will get the ball back. So the score right now, Arizona State 20, Arizona 16 with eight minutes left to go in regulation. Arizona State moving the ball around the timeline as they pass the ball around the perimeter here. With it is Remy Martin in. Arizona gets charged with another foul with seven minutes, 47 seconds left in this one. And we have a timeout on the floor. I'll update the chat here. And I'll give you guys the score as well. As this is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. Feel free to like my video, share, and subscribe as well. Arizona State 20, Arizona 16. I'll be back for more. We'll go into a little bit of the box score here. As this first half is winding down. 7.47 left to go. Twenty to sixteen right now. We'll look at some of the box score stats. We'll go to the leaders right here with Arizona State leading the way in the scoring. Rob Edwards currently with eight points and a steal to add to his name for the Sun Devils. Zylan Cheatham second on the team or third on the team right now, as Remy Martin is five for Arizona State. Cheatham is three, as yeah, Cheatham from the free throw line was one for two, and he hit a shot as well from the field. What else we have for Arizona? The leading scorers here would be Dylan Smith. He has five points currently for the Wildcats in this one. 747 left in the first, and Ryan Luther has three points for Arizona. He has two rebounds so far in this one. On the bench, Chase Jeter. With zero points and two fouls already in this game for Arizona. As we're almost back to action. The Sun Devils shooting the ball from the field at 41.2% in the game so far. Compared to Arizona's 33.3% in this one. Arizona State out-rebounding Arizona currently at this mark in the game. 14-9. to nine. So We're almost back to action here in Tempe. At the Wells Fargo Arena, feel free to like my video, share, and subscribe. Spread the message as well. This is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. And what I do is live stream with my play-by-play -play live reaction to college basketball games throughout the regular season all the way through into the March Madness Tournament as well. And for both of these teams in the tournament, this game goes huge and far between the two of these squads, Arizona and Arizona State. Arizona, the last time they had last time they missed the tournament was back in 2012 with Sean Miller. And Arizona State last year, they were an 11 seed in the tournament, lost in the play-in game to the round of 64s. They took on Syracuse, lost that one. First shot for the line by Arizona State. It goes down. They're up 21 to 16 with 747 left. 
They'll get a second shot from the line after we went to to a timeout because of Arizona fouled. Here's the second shot from the line. No good. Rebounded by the Wildcats. So one for two from the free throw line that time. Arizona five for eight tonight from the line. Or Arizona State five for eight from the line. Arizona yet to shoot a free throw. The Wildcats with the ball towards the right corner behind the perimeter. And the ball almost stolen, but back into the hands for Arizona. Now they have the ball towards the left side of the timeline. With it, trying to feed the ball up top. As, yeah, Chase G there had the ball. He was dribbling baseline, but looks like he double dribbles with the ball inside. And the ball will go back to Arizona State. So they had a chance there to score the lob pass over the top. But they couldn't get it, couldn't get it in the turnover by Arizona. So the Sun Devils get the ball back, pushing the ball around the perimeter now towards the left side. And Arizona commits. Yeah, they commit another foul with seven minutes, ten seconds left. Yeah. So already in deep, deep foul trouble for Arizona. Hey, what's up? Glad, glad to have you join me here. Pretty good game so far. 21-16. Arizona State's winning this one. So Arizona State at the free throw line with Cheetah missed the shot and rebounded by Arizona. Yeah, pretty good game tonight. Both of these teams were like similar records and big, big game for like bubble circumstances with both of these teams like on the March Madness bubble. As Arizona has the ball down towards the low post with it. Chase G there backing his way in there. The jumper could not fall off the rim, but fought for And Arizona gets the offensive board. So they get the ball back. They kick it outside, and they miss the three-pointer and rebounded by the Sun Devils up 21-16. to 16. So Arizona State has the ball now, and they're passing around the perimeter to set up the offense and slow down the tempo. 6.25 left to go. And this one is Remy Martin has the ball and is back into the hands of Cheatham. They're passing the ball to the perimeter. Now to the low post. Backing his way into the low post. Romello White, he couldn't get the shot to fall. Rebounded by the Wildcats. And Arizona now with a chance. Trying to dribble up and in. They kick it back outside. Open three. And he hits it from the outside for Arizona to make this game 21-19. 5.55 left to go. That was Brandon Randolph who got his seventh point of the game. Arizona State tried to go inside. They got rejected. And it's going the other way for Arizona. Jumper inside the low post. And a miss. Rebounded by the Sun Devils. Taken past the timeline. And an outside three. It goes down. He sinks it from the outside for the Sun Devils. Rob Edwards has 11 right now. Number two for Arizona State from the left part of the court behind the arc. In a timeout called on the floor. As right now the score is 24 to 19. 527 left to go. So I'll update in the chat the score here. Twenty-four to nineteen, Arizona State's up. Let's go into some of these scores here for you guys. See the box score. So Arizona State shooting from the floor. 8 for 20. Good for 40% right now. Shooting from the floor. Arizona and the Wildcats shooting at 32% from the floor. 8 for 25 currently in this one. The three ball. Both of these teams have hit three three-pointers so far in this one. The Sun Devils out-rebounding Arizona 17 to 14 currently in this game. For the box score stats, well, we have a guy already in double figures. For the Sun Devils, Rob Edwards has 11 points. Currently, we're not even into halftime in this one. And then tacking on three points is Zylan Cheatham coming in to this game, averaging a little bit above 16 points per game on average. And he has three points so far in this one. Leading score for Arizona, seven points will be Brandon Randolph. And we're back to action here. As Arizona has the ball in a low post, they couldn't get it to go. Rebounded by the Sun Devils as they take it past the timeline. Now they kick it back outside. Three ball from the perimeter. 
and he's fouled. So I got three shots from the line for Arizona State. So it was a right wing three taken by the Sun Devils, Arizona fouls, and who already has 11 points so far in this game. And we're not even the halftime is Rob Edwards for the Sun Devils. He'll go to the line to shoot three. And also note this free throw percentage. He's 27 to 30 on the season. That's good for 90% from the line. And he hits his first. Rob Edwards with 12. So he added his first one. Got 25 to 19 Sun Devils. Second shot. Oh, he missed that one. So Rob Edwards on the season has only missed four shots from the charity stripe. So now he's 29 for 33. Third shot. Hits that one in there. So 26 to 19. Arizona State's up with 452 left to go. The Wildcats with the ball. They take it past the timeline. Passes it towards the left side behind the three-point line. Dribbling to his right with it is Dylan Smith. And he passes the ball to Justin Coleman. Now that they're moving the ball around the perimeter with Arizona. Brandon Randolph shot no good from the free throw circle. But Arizona gets the offensive rebound. They'll pass the ball around the perimeter again. They kick the ball back outside as they dribbled inside for once. Top of the key three. No good. Rimmed out. But another offensive rebound by Arizona. And that time it goes down. Three ball from the right side of the perimeter. Goes down for Dylan Smith. And it's 26 to 22. Arizona four for 12. Shooting from the outside right now. The Sun Devils with the ball. Dylan Smith has eight points for the Wildcats. Arizona stay at the free throw circle. Jumper. No good. Hit the short. Part of the rim by Remy Martin, rebounded by the Wildcats. Arizona trying to go up in the lane. Oh, they kick it back outside. Nice job to kick that back baseline deep two. No good. Could not go down for Brandon Randolph, rebounded by the Sun Devils. Lou Dortz trying to dribble inside, and he could not get the default offensive rebound. He gets his own rebound. Couldn't get it either. Too strong off the backboard. Arizona has it. Two guys to beat. Couldn't lay it in either, but Arizona State fouls. And the Wildcats will go to the line. So Arizona State picks up their fifth team foul of the night with three minutes, 30 seconds left. We got a score here, 26 to 22. Sun Devils up in this one. I'll update the chat here with the new score. And feel free to like my video, share, and subscribe as well. This is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. And I do play-by-play -play and live reaction videos to college basketball games throughout this entire regular season, all the way into the March Madness Tournament. So don't miss a beat with me. we got some great games coming up, a great game with the Battle of Arizona tonight between two teams, and probably one of them come March will make the tournament, and the other team will find itself in the NIT. I'll update the score for you guys right here, 22-26. As both of these teams... This is the first matchup on the season that they play each other. They still have to play each other again come early March, right before the Pac-12 tournament. So 26-22. We're on this commercial break right now. I'll just check the college scoreboard, see what happened tonight. And it looks like Purdue adds another win to their resume. So coming off that big, strong win at home against Michigan State, and now they're proving teams that they can do it. They just won on the road, went into overtime against Penn State. But it's all about how they get things done. And Purdue just put Penn State to a record of to a record of zero and ten in the Big Ten for the Penn State Nittany Lions, as Purdue needed the extra time to beat Penn State in overtime, ninety nine to ninety today. So. Number 17, Purdue, huge performance out of Carson Edwards again. 38 points in that game as that's going to help his points per game on average as he's in the top five currently right now in college basketball, averaging around 24 points per game on average. Not a lot of top 25 games out there as we look to this college basketball scoreboard right now since we're on the commercial break, but the Temple Owls, the first time they played against Houston a couple of weeks ago, they beat, they beat 
the Houston Cougars in that game. That was the only loss that Houston's had so far this season. This time, though, at Houston, Texas, Houston comes back and they beat them. And number 13, Houston improves to 21 and 1 in the nation with a 73 to 66 win. As Houston right now has the most wins currently by any NCAA Division I men's basketball team this year. So we're back to action here. Arizona State at the line, shooting their free throws. Sh first shot from the line, it goes down for the Wildcats. So at Arizona at the line, shooting their free throws. The foul is less committed by Arizona State. Both of the shots go down by Brandon Randolph. 26-24, we got a close one here, Sun Devils and Wildcats. Arizona State with the ball, they take it past the timeline as Remy Martin with it towards the top of the key, and he's dribbling the ball, passes the ball at the right elbow, now behind the arc with it, Rob Edwards passes it back to Martin. Remy Martin dribbling towards the left side with the ball, trying to feed the ball inside, they do get it, and the jumper off the glass up and in by Lou Dort. So he gets a little touch with a kiss off the backboard that goes up and in and is good. Lou Dortz has four right now for the Sun Devils. Arizona State up 28-24. 2.50 left to go. Arizona with the ball. Baseline now with Chase Jeter. Spin move trying to back his way inside. Jeter up. No good. Too strong off the glass. Rebounded by the Sun Devils. As the ball gets taken past in transition with the ball. Rob Edwards. He's leading the scoring for Arizona State. The ball goes off his foot as he tried to move around the Arizona defender, and he kicks it out of bounds, and the Wildcats will get the ball back. So Arizona and Sean Miller's squad down by four with 2.37 left to go. They get the inbound, and they'll take it past the timeline. Arizona moving the ball left side behind the perimeter with it. Towards the top of the key, try to feed it inside. They do. As it's Chase Jeter trying to work his way inside. And again, he misses another shot. And Arizona, though, gets the offensive board. Hey, thanks for joining me. Feel free to like my video, share, and subscribe. I do this all season long. College basketball, live reaction, play-by-play -play videos. We have a close one here. Sun Devils up by four with 203 left to go. Arizona sinks it from the outside. Right wing three. And now we have a one-point game. So Brandon Randolph. Has 12 points right now for Arizona. We got ourselves a one-point game. Huge game tonight, as in terms from the March Madness bracket. Probably one of these teams will be out, the other team in come March, but you never know, as Arizona State lays it up and in with Lou Dortz off the glass. He has six tonight. It's 30-27. to 27. Arizona with the ball now. They kick it back outside. Left wing with the ball is Justin Coleman trying to dribble inside. Oh, beautiful spin move by Coleman. Kicks the ball back outside. Right wing three, no good for Arizona. Rebounded by the Sun Devils. As we thank you guys for joining me, we have a minute and 14 left to go with Arizona State, Arizona in the first half. And we have a foul on the play, a stoppage in time here with a minute and 14. Yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Pretty, pretty, pretty good game so far in this one between Arizona, Arizona State. First shot from the line by the Sun Devils goes down. Yeah, I'm curious to see what happens to Nick Foles in the offseason, if he's still with the Eagles or so. Because um, I remember him, he played college football like back in 2009 for Arizona. I remember watching his game sometime, uh, sometimes on TV or so. And then he's a Super Bowl MVP last year. Um, yeah, I could. I'm getting this game right now. It's on ESPN3. It works with internet providers. It's for, it's for free. It's also on, I think, like one of the ESPN channels if you have cable as well but if you don't have cable and just an internet service provider i think you can get it on espn3 the only thing about that is that you can get it for for free but they give you the spanish version to it as arizona state has the ball now they're dribbling inside oh and they feed it inside and the slam jam the two-handed dunk by the sun devil so romello white puts that one down for arizona state so it's a seven point game 33 seconds remaining Arizona with the ball now. 
And they kick it outside, left wing three, and it's a swoosh from the outside for Arizona. Justin Coleman hits that one, 34-30. to 30. Really great game in this first half for both of these squads. We have a timeout on the floor, 16.2 seconds remaining. I'll update the chat here with a score since we have a timeout now. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Arizona versus Arizona State on Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. Feel free and feel free to like my video, share, and subscribe as well to my channel. I'll be doing live streams to college basketball games throughout the regular season all the way into the March Madness tournament. So don't miss a beat with my channel and feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. I have a couple of good games next week, I believe. I think Tuesday. If it allows, I should be covering the Boston College at Duke game. Hopefully I can get that with my stream because I'm from New England, so I'm not sure if they're going to black out that game for me. They usually do that for the Celtics games. If I go to stream on like ESPN, sometimes they black it out, so I'm not sure if they're going to black it out just because it's Boston College since it's in my area, but I hope to cover that game on Tuesday, and I think next week, as well. I think next Thursday I'll be covering Arizona again because I saw that they come up again when they play against Washington. So another huge game for the Wildcats next week as they'll be taking on Washington, who right now the Washington Huskies are the only undefeated team in the Pac-12 as they're at the very top of the Pac-12. Arizona State now will inbound it with 16 seconds left to go, and they tried to go in for the layup. There's a foul, though. Committed by Arizona, so the Sun Devils will go to the line. Remy Martin tried to go past a group of defenders to lay it up and in. He was followed, though, by Dylan Smith of Arizona. So Martin to the line for two for the Sun Devils. Dylan Smith in foul trouble already, not even at halftime yet. He has three fouls. So Martin at the line hits his first for the Sun Devils. They're up 35-30. to 30. Yeah, hopefully Arizona will be back in the March Madness tournament this season. Last year in my bracket, I had them going like really, really far. And then like all of a sudden, they just lost first round. Like I couldn't believe believe that. Just like Buffalo came out of nowhere as a 13 seed and beat them that game. That was crazy as both of the shots go down from the line for Martin. Now Arizona with the ball. They kick it back outside. Three ball, right corner, and it's good. Nothing but net. As time expires, and that was a crucial three-point shot that Arizona made with a second left before halftime. So we're at halftime right now, so we'll go through a little bit of the box score stats and what happened during the first half. I'll catch up on some of the other scores that's going down. I'll see what's going on in Pac-12 action as well since we're at the half, and I'll update the score here. So we have Arizona 33, Arizona State 36 at the half as we thank you for joining in this is behind the arc basketball on youtube and what i do is i do play by play and live reactions to college basketball games and i'll be doing this throughout the entire college basketball season all the way in to the march madness tournament as well so don't miss a beat here feel free to like my videos share and subscribe and spread the message about my channel as well as yeah, I'm going to look into this Pac-12 Pac standings here. So this is how it looks. So Arizona and Arizona State, both of these teams tied at 5-3 and three currently in the Pac-12. Arizona with a 14-7 and seven record. Arizona State with a 14-6 and six record. This game is huge for both of these teams right now as far as going into the March Madness bracket. I feel like one of these teams by March will be in – like one of the last four teams in the bracket and the other team will be out of the bracket and bound for the NIT, but we still have a lot of basketball left to play. And as it looks like right now, it seems like it's Washington's conference so far that they've come out in this conference in the Pac-12 right now, 8-0 and for the Washington Huskies, 17-4 and overall for that. Washington has won the last 10 games in a row as Arizona – 
I'll bring up their upcoming schedule. So next Thursday, I'm I plan on streaming that Arizona Washington game. That should be a huge game, as it looks like I'll be able to get that game from here. So yeah, February February seventh. Uh, yep, we'll be back at 9, 9 p.m. Eastern time with that one. So, yes, yeah, 6 p.m. Pacific with that game against Arizona, Arizona, Washington. Crucial, crucial game there. And then Arizona, with the rest of their schedule, doesn't look that hard. They have California on their schedule. They have, they have Stanford as well. Colorado is in there, Washington State. So four of those teams are at the bottom of the conference. They played most of the better teams. So far, USC, UCLA, they've yet to play Utah, though, as well. And they still have another game against Oregon. They have another game as well against Arizona State. So we look to the box score right now with both of these teams at halftime. Arizona State shooting the ball much better than Arizona at the half. Arizona State and the Sun Devils shooting the ball 42.3% from the half. Arizona shooting the ball 324 percent from the half but three-point shooting is what's keeping the Wildcats in this game shooting the ball seven for 16 behind the arc right now compared to Arizona State they're shooting the ball three for nine from the outside rebounding and that advantage at the half going to Arizona State out rebounding Arizona 22 to 19 I think coming into this game Arizona State has out rebounded 17 out of their 20 opponents that they've played so far this year, and they're doing that by three rebounds currently in this one. Huge difference in the fouls. If Arizona wants to win this game, they need to cut back on foul fouling big time. They already have 12 fouls as a team charged to them in the fir first half. Arizona State has five. Has Arizona State has had plenty of shots to cash in at the charity stripe in this one. They're 11 for 16 from the free throw line in the first half. Arizona's only had two opportunities from the line. They're two for two. We'll look into the box score here since we're at halftime. Brandon Randolph leading the team right now for the Wildcats. 12 points for Arizona. Two for five from the outside for Randolph. And then after that, coming in second in the point scoring at the half, Dylan Smith. For Arizona, Ryan Luther with six. And then Arizona State currently right now, it looks like Rob Edwards leading the way with 13 points for the Sun Devils. He has a steal as well. And Remy Martin chiming in nine, second on the team right now and scoring at the half. For games today of what happened inside the top 25, number 17, Purdue, needed the extra time, but they beat Penn State 99-90. to Number 13, Houston and the Cougars, they keep on rolling. They just got win number 21 on the season. Most wins by a college basketball team this season. They were the first team in college basketball to reach the 21 win mark as they beat Temple, got revenge back on them, beat them 73-66. to Houston... Their only loss this season was to the Temple Owls a few weeks ago. That one was at Philadelphia. And then it looks like the other top top 25 team we have playing tonight is the number four Gonzaga Bulldogs, which will play at BYU tonight. That game is a late game. That will start at 11 p.m. on the East Coast, so 8 p.m. Pacific time for that game for Gonzaga. And that one's at Fresno at Brigham Young. I'm going to see if I can bring up the Pac-12 right now with their scores today. Because we have a few few games inside the Pac-12 that we can see how both of the teams are doing. Or so since we're at the half. As Arizona and Arizona State, pretty, pretty good game so far for both of these teams. Little bit of a back and forth battle, but the Sun Devils are up in this one at the half. We'll look into the halftime scores here for other Pac 12 games going on. Stephen Thompson leading the way for Oregon State with 12 points, but they're trailing Colorado. That could that could be big for Arizona and Arizona State, just clearing a little bit to get Oregon State out of the way. And it would put Oregon State 
at 500 in the conference as well. So Colorado with a five point lead at the half, 40 to 35 against the Beavers. And then the other game going down, this one as well. I think that both of these teams are cheering for Oregon to beat Utah in this one because Utah currently sits at second in the Pac 12. They're up 30 to 27 against the Oregon Ducks as it looks like Will Richardson is leading the way with Oregon with 10 points so far, three rebounds and a steal. Donnie Tillman for Utah leading the way, nine points, two rebounds and an assist. And Utah just made two shots from the free throw line. So now they're up 32 to 27 in that one. So that's a what's going on right now in the Pac-12 for games. So Utah in second right now in the conference behind Washington. As we're on this commercial break, not a whole lot of top 25 games going on today. But we'll look into both of these teams here since we're on this break. So strength of schedule for the Arizona Wildcats. They're currently 73rd in the nation for their strength of schedule. Their net rank is currently 67th in the nation their best win this season and it's good that this team that they're playing that they won against early on in the season keeps on winning their games and now is contending towards the top of the top of the big 12 their best win was against the iowa state cyclones they beat them 71 to 66 that was back in the maui invitational and iowa state they won last night so they currently have a 16 and 5 record five and three in the Big 12. But right now, can Kansas, they lost in the Big 12. Yeah, they lost. The, that was, yeah, Tuesday. They lost against Texas. And now the Big 12 is basically up for grabs here. Kansas State and Baylor, they're tied up at the top right now. We'll take a look to... The next two home games for the Arizona Wildcats here. So Arizona, they have the toughest matchup coming up next. And that's against the Washington Huskies. They play them next week, 9 p.m. Eastern time, 6 Pacific in that one. Washington, perfect in Pac-12 play right now. I should be able to have that stream next week for you guys since I already see that it's on the schedule to be carried over next week so that should be a huge game Washington against Arizona and then the following game after that is Saturday February 9th for Arizona as they play against Washington State in that game so Arizona this is their last game on the road tonight against Arizona State their last three games have been on the road as the past two games they've lost they lost at USC a week ago, 80 to 57, and then they got blown out again against UCLA, 90 to 69 in that game on Saturday. Trying to make a comeback tonight on the road and making a statement, and then they're back at home for the next two games against Washington. Ne next Thursday is their next game, and then they play against Washington State. We'll look to the schedule since we're at halftime here between Arizona and Arizona State. We'll see the upcoming schedule for the Arizona Wildcats. Since we're on this break, as we thank you for joining in, this is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. Feel free to like my video, share, and subscribe as well to my channel if you wish. And I'll be doing play-by-play -play live reactions to college basketball games throughout the season all the way through into the March Madness Tournament. As next Thursday, I'll have another stream as well, and it'll be the undefeated Arizona or undefeated Washington Huskies in the Pac-12 traveling to the Arizona Wildcats in Tucson for that one as we look to Arizona State schedule and yeah they have Washington State next at home so Arizona State gets to play against the easier team from Washington Washington State that's next Thursday and then they also get to play against the Huskies so next Saturday February 9th they play against Washington. So still a lot of basketball left to be played here in Pac-12 action. But the Huskies are walking away with the division in their hands right now. 8-0 overall, 17-4 as they're on a 10-game winning streak. 
as we look to the strength of schedule for Arizona State, 63rd in the nation for their strength of schedule currently, 64th in the net ranking. Arizona's strength of schedule, they're 73rd in the nation with their strength of schedule, 67th in the net rank. Both of these teams currently sit on the bubbles. We're projected for March Madness inside Joe Lunardi's ESPN bracket. One of these teams could be in, the other team could be out. So curious to see what happens come March when both of these teams are in the bracket. As, yes, how the key players went down for today. I'd say, yeah, Remy Martin having some big games as a late. He's the leading score or second right now in the scoring for Arizona State as Remy Martin had a career high 11 assists against UCLA. And right now he's currently fourth in the conference inside the Pac-12 for assist as well. Oh, wow. So we got a, we're still at halftime here between Arizona, Arizona state, but that one just went final. The Yukon woman lost at Louisville today. So that went final. So the so victorious Yukon women's team, as I just saw in the halftime report, lost against the Louisville woman team today. A very, very rare loss for the Yukon women's team for the Huskies. We'll be back to action in a few minutes here. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I'm checking the scoreboard here. And how about this? As I'm looking at the scoreboard, inside the Ohio Valley Conference, you have the leading assist man in the nation, averaging around 10 assists per game, Ja Morant. Murray State taking the league by storm this season, 7-1 and one in the Ohio Valley Conference, 16-3 and three overall, and they're getting blown out tonight at Jacksonville State, 88-68 to, to 68 with 30 seconds left in that one. Ja Morant has 22 points in this game, 7 rebounds and 11 assists, so another double-double night for Ja Morant, but Murray State getting blown out at Jacksonville State as I'm speaking on the scoreboard update as we look at some of the scores. Colorado in the second half continuing to lead against Oregon State, 45-41. to 41. We're at halftime, and Oregon was down. About 10 minutes ago when they gave you the halftime report against Utah, and now they climb back up top at the half. So Oregon up 38-34 to 34 at the half against Utah. That could be huge come March for both of these teams. Utah right now currently six sits in the Pac-12 as the second-place team behind Washington. So this could be huge just to open up the doors for Arizona or Arizona State for this game. We still have a lot of basketball left to play some big games as well to report on this halftime break Xavier losing again falling to 11 and 11 this season usually every single year the Musketeers are in the March Madness tournament but this year they're not looking like they're going to head that way they lost against Georgetown today 80 to 73 Georgetown coming off that big win on Sunday against St. John's at the Garden, and they keep on improving now. 14-7 and seven overall, 4-4 four and four in the Big East, as Georgetown has put themselves into bubble contention here as well. So I'm looking at the scoreboard, trying to see what other games are here that might have an impact towards the tournament bubble. Not really that much, but yeah, Purdue needed the extra time to beat Penn State today in overtime. So they did that. I think that basically covers it as we're almost back to action here between Arizona and Arizona state. And then tonight, the late night game is number four. Gonzaga is playing at BYU in that late night game tonight as well. So we're almost back to action here with Arizona, Arizona state, really interesting game in the first half. 36 to 33. Sun Devils up by three at the half. We'll see if that trend continues in the second half or what happens. So the shooting percentage for the Sun Devils, about 
They're shooting the ball better from the floor than the Wildcats in that first half, but Arizona shooting the ball much better than Arizona State from the outside. Converting on more three-pointers. We're almost back to action at this one in Tempe. If you're just joining us, Brandon Randolph for Arizona has 12 points tonight. In the first half alone this season, he averages around 4.7 points per game. So we're almost back to action in this one. So we'll add a new 20 seconds to the clock. Yep. Yeah. So what I was talking about earlier was in the pregame was that Brandon Randolph for Arizona exploded throughout the second half of these games. He was averaging around nine points in the second half of these games, but he has 12 already in the first half. So unlikely Brandon Randolph exploding from the outside to start off the games. Arizona State with a three ball by Lou Dortz hits it down. 39-33. So we're back to action in this one. 19-33 left to go. Arizona with a ball. Lou Dortz has nine. Arizona gets the ball inside. Finally, the bucket goes for Chase Jeter. So we get something to go. Or no, I no, he didn't get something to go. That was I I release. So the second tallest player on the team that looks kind of like Jeter got the bucket to fall off. The backboard. Arizona State slams it in the other way inside. 41-35 Sun Devils. Arizona with the ball. Remy Martin got the slam dunk. He has nine points. He has four assists tonight. Arizona with the ball. Top of the key three for the Wildcats. No good. Rimmed off the top of the rim. Rebounded by the Sun Devils. So if you're just joining us, Arizona State in their yellow and maroon jerseys. Another three. Sunk from the outside for the Sun Devils. They keep on doing it. Remy Martin hits that shot. So yellow and maroon jerseys for Arizona State in this game. Playing at home. Arizona in their red and dark blue jerseys. Already a timeout on the floor. By Sean Miller's squad as Arizona State has exploded at the start of this second half. Is we're only a minute and 15 seconds in to this game, and the Sun Devils already have scored eight points in the first minute and 15. So we're on commercial break here. I'll update the chat once more. Feel free to like my videos, share, and subscribe. This is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. And I'll be doing college basketball live streams and my play-by-play -play and live reactions throughout the regular season all the way up and through the March Madness tournament. I'll update the chat here so you can see. 35-44. As the second half just got started with 18:45 left. As the Sun Devils have taken... A pretty big run to start off the first minute and 15 in this one. We'll see what the shooting looks like from the floor. Arizona State keeps on upping their totals. 48.3% shooting from the floor. They're 14 for 29 from the field for Arizona State. Arizona shooting the ball around 33% from the floor. So big shot difference. Definitely a huge difference. In the first half from the free throw line, Arizona shot 11 for 16 from the line. Arizona State shot 11 for 16 from the line. Arizona shot 2 for 2. I see a lot of fouls committed by Arizona in that first half. 12 fouls as a team for the Wildcats. Only 5 by the Sun Devils. As we are on a commercial break, we'll check the box score here for the leading scores. Brandon Randolph with 12 in the first half for Arizona. And now we have two players in double-digit scoring for the Sun Devils. 13 for Rob Edwards. And then Remy Martin with 12 points for Arizona State. He also has five assists to go along with that as well. And this one is Remy Martin with it with his assists right now for Remy Martin he is fourth in the conference in the Pac-12 in average assists per game as he's coming into this game with an average around 4.8 assists per game he already has five in this one he has 12 points as well as we're back to action here with Arizona State Arizona and Arizona will inbound the ball as we get back to action, so Arizona has the ball in their hands into the hands of number three, Dylan Smith. 
Passes the ball around the perimeter now. With it. And trying to dribble inside. In the lane with the ball. And it's, yeah, it's a, will be a, called a foul by Arizona State. Yep. So Arizona took the ball inside with Justin Coleman. And Arizona State fouled Coleman as he was trying to score inside. I was trying to see if he traveled with it first, but he didn't. So Coleman will go to the line. He's 79% free throw shooting at the line. Hits his first. 44 to 36. Arizona State up by eight. Huge game tonight as far as the March Madness bracket is concerned for both of these teams. Second shot from the line. That one goes in as well. Still got a long, long way of basketball to play. A full month, a couple of weeks in March, and then the Pac-12 tournament as well. So he hit both of them, 44-37. to 37. The alley-oop over the top. No good as the jam could not go in. So Arizona State missed the alley-oop opportunity in transition. Arizona hits the three from the left wing. Dylan Smith from the outside, 44-40. to 40. So Arizona on a little bit of a run themselves, 5 to nothing run here. After Arizona State got off to a huge start in the second half. The Sun Devils moving the ball around the perimeter now. Pass, nice pass inside. Oh, with a slam dunk. Woo! Zalan Cheatham with a right-handed slam underneath a Wildcat defender, and he got that one to go down, 46-40. to 40. Highlight reel dunk right there for Cheatham. 17-32 left to go in the second. The pass inside, and it goes up and in for Arizona. Ira Lee with his eighth point of the night as he got that one off the backboard to fall, 46-42. to 42. The score now, Arizona State with the ball into the hands of Lou Dort. Hands the ball off to Remy Martin. Martin trying to go inside past the defender. Feeds the ball inside to Ramella White and stripped away. Arizona with the ball. Jumper at the free throw line, no good. Off, Yep, offensive rebound though by Arizona. Brandon Randolph with the ball trying to take a baseline. Kicks it back outside. Left wing three. No good. Hit the short part of the rim. Rebound. Oh, rebounded by the Sun Devils. They tried to push it up in transition, and they threw it to the wrong player. So Arizona gets the steal back with the ball, and they're setting up the offense. Justin Coleman has the ball in his hands. Dribbling now towards the outside left part of the court. Outside, we have a foul on a reach-in by Arizona State, so it'll be the first foul. And Romello White will pick up the foul for Arizona State. So the score in this one, Arizona State 46, Arizona 42. Arizona inbounds the ball with it towards the left side of the perimeter. Shot for three. Good from the outside. From the left wing for Arizona, we got a one-point game. Number 12, Justin Coleman hit that one as Arizona's 9 for 20 from the outside in this game. That's what's keeping them around in this game tonight. Arizona State with the ball. Trying to take it inside. They kick it back outside. Top of the key three. And it was just an air ball, but it's saved by the Sun Devils. Did not go out of bounds. So Arizona will get the ball and set up the offense again. And a three ball rams from the outside for the Sun Devils. 49-45. Remy Martin with 15. Gets that one to fall. 15-45 left to go in the second. Arizona with a ball. Trying to go inside. And it, look, it looks like Arizona State gets called with another foul as Arizona tried to go inside. Arizona State tried to plead their case that there was a tie-up on the play, but they couldn't get the ball back. So Arizona will go to the line where we get back from a commercial break. But Wow, the three ball falling from the outside for both of these teams right now. 49-45. Sun Devils holding on to a four-point lead with 15-42 left to go in the second. And remember, this is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. And feel free to like, share, and subscribe to my channel as well as I'll be doing live play-by-play -play reactions to college basketball games throughout the regular season all the way in through the conference tournament. So feel free to hit that like button.
and that sub subscribe button as well. I'll update the score for you guys. We'll go into a little bit of the stats since we're on this break. We got Arizona with 45, Arizona State with 49. Yeah, so Arizona State had a nine-point lead the last time we took a break before that, and then Arizona answered. They went on a 5-0 run to cut the lead to 44-40, to and, and then they cut the lead back to one. So it was 46-45. Arizona State was up by one, and then the three ball from the right wing outside was good for Arizona State, so now up by four. As we look to some of the team stats here, Arizona State shooting the ball just below 50% from the field. Arizona shooting the ball around 36.4% currently from the field. But the three-pointers keep on going down for Arizona. Nine for 20 right now. That's what's saving the Wildcats in this game since they haven't been to the free throw line as much. I think only twice or no, four times now from the line. So they were twice at the half and they did get sent to the line during the second half as well as Arizona State from the free throw line is 11 for 16 currently at this point in the game. They're shooting the ball from behind the arc at 6 for 13 right now. And Arizona State still out-rebounding Arizona 25 to 21 in this one. So team follows were a big struggle for Arizona early in the first half. They had 12 as a team. They picked up in the first half. But, yeah, the second half, it seems like they've done a lot better for the fouls. Arizona State has been the one who's been following a little bit more than Arizona in the second half. As this is a close game right now. So we're on commercial break, and... Arizona will inbound it. So two fouls for Arizona State. Arizona has yet to foul in the second half. 15-40 remaining. As right, so we'll try that again with the inbounds. So here we go again with the inbound. Arizona gets as they throw it towards the left wing. With the ball now into the hands of Dylan Smith. Now he passes the ball to Justin Coleman from behind the arc dribbling baseline. And now he's trying to dribble inside. And Arizona State will get called with another foul on the reach in. So they have three as a team currently right now. 15-29 left to go in the second. Another inbound for the Wildcats here. As Arizona gets the inbound, trying to dribble baseline with it. Ira Lee, reverse hand layup, cannot get it in. Tip back, no good for Arizona. Rebounded by the Sun Devils. 15-20 remaining in this one. Arizona State takes the ball past the timeline. It's into the hands of Remy Martin, dribbling towards his right behind the three-point line. Now passing the ball off left side of the perimeter now with the ball into the hands of Kamani Lawrence. Passes the ball towards the right side of the perimeter. Rob Edwards. With the ball. Now he's trying to drive inside. Kicks it back outside. Left corner three. But we have a foul. And Arizona will get their first foul as a team. It was on Dylan Smith. So he's in deep foul trouble as well. He just picked up his fourth. As we still have 14 minutes, 59 seconds in this one. But he has 11 points as well. So he checks out off the bench for him. Arizona State gets the inbounds. 14.55 remaining. Ball into the hands of Remy Martin. Dribbling towards his right side behind the perimeter. Martin bounce passes it off to Rob Edwards. Edwards now setting up the offense. Five on the shot clock. As he passes the ball. And a slam. Two-handed jam for Arizona State. Romello White off the feed from Cheatham inside. White has nine points tonight with two seconds on the shot clock. He hit that one down with a two-handed slam. 51.49. Crowd loved that. At Arizona State, the Wells Fargo Arena. Arizona now with the ball. As they had the ball around the perimeter, they dribbled inside and they kick it back outside 
towards the right wing when the ball is Justin Coleman dribbling towards his left now. And he loses control of the ball. Arizona State has it with one man to beat. And no, Rob Edwards didn't decide to lay it in as he probably would have got rejected from behind anyway. <laughs> but yeah, Rob Edwards tried to set up the offense right there. But Arizona gets called with the reach in foul. So the Wildcats pick up their second foul as a team tonight. Arizona State with four. So the Sun Devils will inbound the ball as the ball goes into the hands of Remy Martin towards the right side behind the perimeter and now feeds it off to Cheatham. Feeds the ball off to Lawrence. Lawrence now passes it towards the right side and it's turned over. Going the other way for the Wildcats now with the ball and they're trying to take it all the way to the rim. Couldn't get the shot to fall. But we'll go to the line. will be Brandon Randolph. Or no, the shot, the rest will say the shot was before Randolph got fouled. So he took the shot, but the rest will say it was before. So it appears, yep, Arizona will inbound the ball. So Arizona State picked up their fifth foul as a team. Still got a lot left to go in the second half. 13-36 remaining. Arizona with the ball. Spin move in the lane. Couldn't get it to fall. Was Devonair Dutrieve with a spin move in the lane for the Wildcats, but he'll go to the line for two. So the Sun Devils are in trouble in the second half with fouls, but they're up 51-45. Arizona, the first half, was completely the opposite. as They were in big, big foul trouble with a team in the with their team in the first half. They only have two so far in this half. Arizona State has six. Devonair Dutri from the line shooting Three for seven on the season. Ooh, he gets that one lucky fall in there as it, the ball just died out at the top of the rim. And it got the courtesy fall right in the net. So that one was good. And the second one good as well, 51-47. So coming into the game for Devonair Dutri, shooting the ball below 50% from the line, and he hit them both. Arizona State now with the ball in their hands. Up by four. Spin move in the lane by Remy Martin. Kick back. No good for the three-pointer, but the offensive rebound by Romello White. White try to put it in. And Arizona gets called with another foul inside. And then the, I think that was that one was on Chase Jeter. Yeah. Yep, it, okay, so the refs will call that it was on a shooting foul, so not a rebounding foul. So now Romello White will go to the line for the Sun Devils. Nine points, trying to get his 10th, and he can't. Hits the top of the rim and floats back to him, 51-47. Sean Miller has a record of 14-4 and versus Arizona State, while Bobby Hurley... Head coach of the Sun Devils is 0-6 versus the Wildcats. And the second shot from the line goes down. So the Sun Devils extend their lead to 52-47. to We have 13 minutes, 12 seconds left to go in regulation. Arizona with the ball. Ira Lee. With it now, it's Justin Coleman trying to dribble inside and float it over the top up and good. For Arizona, that was Ryan Luther who hit that one for the Wildcats to close in on the gap here. 12.46 left to go in this action. 52-49. Sun Devils up by three. Remy Martin with the ball at the top of the key. Passes the ball off to his right behind the arc. And almost lost past the timeline. Behind it was Rob Edwards, but he gets it before it's a backcourt violation. Edwards with the top of the key. Three as it was tipped. But Arizona gets charged with the shooting foul with 12 minutes, 30 seconds left. And that was behind the three-point line where they fouled Rob Edwards. So Arizona State will shoot three from the line, 52 to 49, 12 and a half left. Rob Edwards from the line is a 90% 
free throw shooter. He's got 13 points tonight. Tack on 14 as he hits his first. 53-49. Sun Devils up by four. Here's the second shot from the line by Edwards. Hits that one as well. So he improves to four and five tonight for his shots from the charity stripe. He's only missed one. Uh, there's five attempts. Here's his sixth one. Trying to be perfect on this drive. Does it. 55-49. So Rob Edwards hits all three. He's got 16 points tonight. Arizona with the ball now. They take it past the timeline. Justin Coleman with it. The ball fed back inside the outside. The three ball from the top of the key goes down for Arizona. 55-52. Ryan Luther hits that one. He has nine points tonight. All three of his shots coming on three-pointers. He's three for five from behind the arc. Arizona State with the ball. Dribbling towards the elbow. Bounce pass inside. The two and the slam up and in. And it's good. On the jam. Remy Martin. Providing the assist right there. To Daquan Lake. Who slammed that in at the baseline. So we have another name that we get on the box score here with Daquan Lake. And we have a timeout on the floor with Arizona State up in this one. 57-52, 11.43 left to go. We have a stoppage in time. So I'll update the chat here. Thank you all for joining me. This is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. And feel free to like my videos, share, and subscribe. The Sun Devils up by five. So, yeah, let's dig into some of these stats here in the box score. Arizona has three players currently with double-digit points, leading the way Brandon Randolph with 12 points. And then Dylan Smith, he's three for five from behind the arc right now. He's got 11 points to add in for Arizona. And then Ryan Luther has 11 points as nine of his shots have come from the three-point line. Arizona State, they have three players as well in double-digit scoring mode. Currently 16 points leading the way. Rob Edwards for the Sun Devils and a 15 points for Remy Martin. He has seven assists to go along with that. He averages just below five assists per game. That's good for fourth in the Pac-12. And... Actually, yeah, their leading scorer, Zylan Cheatham, has been held. He's the lowest scorer, scorer right now out of the Arizona State starting five. So Zylan Cheatham came into this game averaging around 11.8 points per game. Or no, their, their leading scorer is uh, Lou Dortz with 16 points per game. But, yeah, Zylan Cheatham's the only one averaging the double-double double with 11.8 points per game, 10.4 rebounds per game, which is – First for rebounds in the conference, Cheatham has, wow, he has 14 rebounds currently in this one. So really doing it with the rebounds and he's trying to get towards the double-double as he'll look to add to his point total as he has five points currently in this one. Romello White has 10, so he's in double-digit scoring mode currently as well. We have an update here, Oregon against Utah. As Oregon has pulled out to a 40-37 to lead at the start of the second half in that one against Utah. Oregon could help out both of these teams from Arizona by beating Utah there. Utah currently in second, tied with USC in the, con in the conference. Zylan Cheatham coming into this game. He's the only player in the Pac-12 averaging a double-double. And that 8-0 start in conference play for Washington, that's the best start for the Huskies since 1952, the 1952-1953 season. Wow. So next week, 9 p.m. Eastern time, 6 Pacific, I'll have Washington against Arizona. That game should be big. First shot from the line 
by the Wildcats, and it goes down. So the scoring right now is 57 to 53. Arizona at the free throw line for their second one, and that one hits. As we have a three point game, Sun Devils up and Sun Devils with the ball. Arizona perfect on their free throws, eight for eight in this game. Sun Devils with the ball passing around the perimeter into the hands of Rob Edwards now at the top of the key. Rob dribbling towards his right with it towards the right corner and now takes the deep two jumper from the right elbow. No good. But another foul on Arizona trying to rebound the ball. So they get their fifth foul as a team. Ira Lee will pick up his third foul tonight for the Wildcats. As Arizona now has the ball into their hands on the inbounds. They take it past the timeline. As Justin Coleman... Has the ball. They're down by three for the Wildcats. As they kick it back outside. Here's the three to tie. in. they do from the outside. This game is tied up at 57. 10 53 left to go and play. And a huge shot from the outside by Alex Barcelo tied up this game. Arizona State with the ball. The feed inside. The two and it's slammed by the Quan Lake as. Arizona forgot to man up on him right next to the rim, and he slams it down with his two hands. Sun Devils back up in the lead, 59-57. Arizona now with the ball. Justin Coleman trying to drive inside himself, and he gets it up in and off the glass for Coleman, number 12. Number 12 for Arizona, and he also has 12 points as well. Tied up at 59. Sun Devils with the ball trying to drive inside. They kick it inside towards the low post. And we have another foul by the Wildcats before the shot. As Arizona State was driving, they put the ball up and in off the backboard, but the refs won't count it. What a game we have tonight. Both of these teams coming in to this game evenly matched. And Arizona State will inbound it. Ira Lee in deep, deep foul trouble for Arizona. He just picked up his fourth. Arizona State now with the ball dribbling around the perimeter. They have 10 left on the shot clock. Kamani Lawrence kicks the ball outside. Number two, Rob Edwards shot the three-pointer. Couldn't get in. Arizona gets the re rebound. They have one man to beat. But the Sun Devils will follow Arizona. Brandon Randolph will go to the line as Arizona State has eight fouls right now. So Arizona will be in the bonus shooting the one and one. So if you're just joining us, the score tied up at 59. Arizona and Arizona State with nine minutes, 44 seconds left in regulation in this one. Feel free to like my video, share, and subscribe. This is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. I'll be doing live play-by-play. Live reactions to college basketball games throughout the season. Oh, yeah, big-time basketball. 59-59, three ball from the outside. No good, rimmed out by Zona, rebounded by the Sun Devils. And the yellow and maroon jerseys trying to take it inside. Lou Dortz kicked it inside, and they turned it over. Oh, they had the open man on the baseline. They just turned that ball over. As Lou Dortch tried to feed Daquan Lake down low. Arizona will get the ball back with 9.15 left to go. As we welcome in off the wall hockey here in, to YouTube. And that's my boy John as well. Thank you for the big chat here. But we're back into this game. Huge game with nine minutes left. Arizona with the ball. At this point in the game. Both of these teams cannot turn the ball over, and Arizona State just saved that ball from going out of bounds. So they get the ball past the timeline with 8.45 left to go. This ball is into the hands of Lou Dortz, who leads the team with an average of 16 points per game. And now towards the left side of the perimeter with the ball, Kimani Lawrence from Providence, Rhode Island. As he went to the New Hampton School, Kimani Lawrence. That's up in New Hampton, New Hampshire. There's another foul on the play. There's been plenty of fouls 
so far in this game. Arizona had 12 of them in the first half. Now, Arizona State with eight in the second half. Arizona State at the first half, they only had five fouls as a team. We have a stoppage in time here, so I'll update the chat with the score. This is 59-59, big-time basketball. As the Sun Devils are at the line for the one and one They missed it. And Arizona now with the ball with 8.20 left to go. The shot inside off the glass up and in. Beautiful shot. So Arizona takes the lead right back. 61-59 Arizona. Their first lead since this game was a 7-6 game in the first half. Top of the key three for Arizona State, but... A timeout called before it by the Sun Devils with eight minutes left to go. What a game so far. Arizona reclaiming the lead the first time they've had it in this game since the early minutes in this one. 61-59. We have a timeout here in the commercial break, so I'll update the score. Feel free to like my videos, share, and subscribe, and spread the word as well. we got some big-time basketball here and big-time basketball all throughout the course of these next couple of months and throughout the tournament as well. Tuesday night, I'll have a big game if I'm able to stream it, if there's no blackout restrictions because there's a local basketball team who's playing in that one. But I'm going to try to see if I can get the BC game when they're traveling to play in Durham. They'll be playing against the Duke Blue Devils. So that'll be a huge, huge game for them. I'm going to update this here. Yeah, there, there was a couple of fans in this chat earlier today yeah so hopefully throughout the season i'm definitely going to get some more people in this chat we can definitely talk about college basketball in this chat with everyone be like a whole like whole thing talk about like all these different teams in here and it's gonna be huge like once we get to the tournament or so i'm I'm thinking about Saturday. There's a big, big game, the North Carolina against Louisville game, 2 p.m. on Saturday, that I'm thinking about streaming that one because last time I did North Carolina, I got, like, a huge, huge turnout. It seems like the – yep. Yeah, all the, all the fans will be here in March because that's when, like, 95% of the fans tune in just all the – all the people from like all these schools tuning in, but yeah, I've got quite the fans all over here, but the majority UNC and Duke right now, but yeah, UNC against Louisville, 2 p.m. on Saturday. I plan on streaming that one. That's going to be a huge game. And then 6 p.m. on Saturday as well, the Michigan State, Indiana game as well. I had a good amount of fans there in Michigan State and hell yeah, Zion, the man going like, going top two in the draft. Don't forget about R.J. Barrett. And then, yeah, Cam Reddish as well. That that Duke team is absolutely nasty. I, I've got, like, my mind set on them that they could possibly win this whole thing. I haven't taken a look at Tennessee yet. Tennessee's at number one. So when I get a chance, I absolutely have to see Tennessee. But, yeah, I'm curious to see how Michigan State does because Joshua Langford – is out for the season now. They just rolled him out of the season today. So I'm curious to see how Michigan State responds as we're back to action. And Arizona with a three ball from the left corner. Ryan Luther adds it up. So 64 to 59. The Wildcats with their largest lead of the night. They haven't led since they were up seven to six early. And now they've taken control of this one on the road. Jumper from the baseline goes down for the Sun Devils. Kamani Lawrence from Providence, Rhode Island hits that one. We got a three-point game with 7.14 left to go. What a game here between both of these teams. And Joe Lunardi's Bracketology. Tonight's winner is in. The loser is out. This is a huge game between March Madness Brackets and NIT. Seeds in a huge three again. Same spot. Same location, 
and he drains it down. Ryan Luther from the left corner outside. 67-61, Arizona taking control of the game right now. And Arizona tried to go for the offensive foul on the flop, but they couldn't get it. Ryan Luther coming big tonight, 17 points in this game. Huge night for Ryan Luther coming out of this one. So Arizona couldn't get the charge there. So the Sun Devils at the line, they hit there first. As that is Lou Dortz at the line shooting 64%. From the line on the season. So not the greatest shooter from the line. But he does it all with scoring. As he leads the team with an average of 16 points per game. Second shot from the line by Dortz. And he's proving you wrong right now. With that 64% free, free throw percentage. Coming into this game. As he had both of them. 67-63. We still have 636 left to go in this one. Arizona with the ball. Trying to take it inside. Off the glass too strong. Oh the tip in. Gets it up and in. Chase Jeter. So that's his first bucket of the game. Coming back from his injury he suffered back on January 19th against Oregon State. Arizona State in transition. They get the reverse hand layup. Lou Dort with that. He has 13 tonight. 69-65. This game's incredible tonight. 6-09 left to play. Arizona with the ball. Now they're setting up the offense. Number 12 with the ball in his hands for the Wildcats. Justin Coleman passes the ball inside to Jeter. Jeter could not get it to fall. But we have another foul. So Arizona State keeps racking up these fouls throughout this game. First half, it was Arizona who couldn't get out of the foul trouble here. But the Sun Devils now putting Arizona into the double bonus of Chase Jeter. Shooting 65% from the line with his first, and he hits a 70 to 65 with 5.55 left to go. And this one, as we welcome you in, this is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube, and I'll be doing play by play live reaction to college basketball games throughout the season, all the way in through the March Madness tournament. So Jeter is perfect from the line. We weren't sure if he was going to suit up today for this game, as he was out for the past two games when Arizona got blew out. On on the road last week against USC, lost 80 to 57, and then he got they bl got blew out on Saturday again, lost to UCLA, 90 to fit, 90 to 69, three ball by Arizona State from the outside, it goes down, got the bounce off the rim. Remy Martin is 18, five and a half left. What an incredible game tonight, as Arizona has the ball top of the key. They kick the ball outside, left wing, left corner, open jumper. And it couldn't go. Arizona tips it out, so they get the offensive rebound. Oh, man, what a great game. 5-10 remaining. Arizona setting up the offense again. New shot clock, 20 left to go on that shot clock. 5-0-4 left to go in regulation. Dribbling towards the right side with the ball. Trying to dribble baseline the lay. And then, oh, what a block from behind by Arizona State. Dylan Smith tried to dribble in baseline. Ball swatted out of bounds. But Arizona will get the inbounds. That looked like, yeah, it was number 23, Romello White. Clean block on it. No foul. So Arizona will inbound it. 12 on the shot clock. They do. Ball passed around the perimeter towards the right side. Trying to dribble baseline. And they cannot get it to fall by the shooting foul. Will allow the Wildcats to go to the line with 4.52 left. Because Arizona State fans can't believe it. So trying to dribble baseline was Brandon Randolph of Arizona. And the shooting foul will be charged on Remy Martin. Randolph is fourth right now in the Pac-12. From the charity stripe, 87%. And he missed his first. That could be a key one. Pretty good. I, I actually started streaming, like, when I first did these games, I started streaming from my living room, but I just got, like, a new HDMI cord today that could stretch, like, really far, so now I moved to my bedroom, which is absolutely awesome. We changed out the lights in this house, too, so I got these, like, new bright lights that we just set up 
this past week as well. So Arizona just hit the free throw. They're up 72-68. Oh, the three ball goes down from the outside for Arizona State, and it's Remy Martin who hits it. I thought he was he was going to be fouled on the play. The refs didn't call the foul as Martin went down as he hit the shot, but he hits the three ball. We got ourselves a 72-71 game with 429 left to go. Oh, man, this game's incredible tonight. We got a timeout on the floor, so I'll update the chat again. Next Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern time, I'll be back at it. Huge game for tournament consequences here inside the March Madness bracket. As the Washington Huskies at the very top of the Pac-12, they're 8-0 in conference play, riding a 10-game winning streak. They have a record of 17 in floors. The fours, they'll travel to the Arizona Wildcats. They'll play in Tucson against Arizona in that game. But this is a huge, huge game for Arizona tonight. 72-71. As we've had some great games tonight, I know the Penn State-Purdue game, as Purdue with Carson Edwards... He dropped, I think, like 39 points in that game. Ooh, shoot, yep. To get the Boilermakers to to win in overtime. Yeah, 72 to 71, Arizona, Arizona State. I'm just going to check this college basketball score scoreboard of these games of what happened tonight through the top 25. But yeah, that, the Big Ten over here. Let's see as we're on this commercial break. Yeah, so that was the only game out in the Big Ten. Num number 17, Purdue beating Penn State 99-90. to Car Yeah, Carson Edwards had 38 points in that game. He averages about 24 points per game. He's inside the top five right now in all college basketball, but huge game for them. This game, 429 left to go. We're on commercial break. Arizona, Arizona State. Huge, huge game as both of these teams are dialing up the three ball from outside as of recently. I'm going to get that percentage for you guys. Three-point shooting for Arizona. It's what's making them survive in this one. 50% from the field, 13 for 26 from the outside in this game. Arizona State's eight for six. 8 for 16, shooting the ball also 50% from the field, but Arizona's made 13 three-pointers. Arizona State's made 8. 4 minutes, 29 seconds left to go. The score, if you're just joining us, is 72 Arizona, 71 Arizona State. Remy Martin with a huge night, 21 points. His career high is 24. We're back to action. Arizona gets the inbound. In their red jerseys with a dark blue lettering, Arizona dribbling towards the right side, and now they're dribbling back out towards the front court and dribbling some more. Right side behind the three-point line, trying to go inside. Floater and inside, but no, Arizona State knocked the ball away. Two-on-two two advantage. They don't take the fast break, though. Yeah, definitely. Hey, good night, man. Thank you so much. We'll have to get together sometime. This is great. Oh, what a layup for Arizona State. So Remy Martin got that one down with the layup in reverse hand, 73-72. Arizona, and they turned it over. They tried to lob the ball inside, and the Sun Devils steal it away. So three and a half minutes remaining. Arizona State with the ball. As they have the ball into the hands of Cheatham, he passes the ball off the doors. Oh, alley oop, jam. Cheatham with a huge alley oop off the feed in the lob over the top, 75 72. Sun Devils up by three with 308 left. Woo! What a game tonight. This game might go into overtime. This is incredible. So I'm going to update the chat again. 
with a score. What a huge lob over the top. Lou Dort shucks that one over a defender on the lob. And the two-handed alley-oop jam by Cheatham. On the replay, three minutes, eight left to go in regulation. Three minutes, eight seconds left to go in regulation. If you just missed out, the alley -oop pass by Lou Dort. Lobbed it over the top, and Zylan Cheatham threw it down to take the lead for Arizona State. We have a 75-72 game with 3.08 left to go in this one. This is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube, where I'll be doing live streams and my play-by-play -play -play live reaction to all these college basketball games throughout the regular season, all the way through the conference tournaments, and of course, into the March Madness tournament as well. So feel free to like my videos, share, and subscribe, as we'll be back on the court here for the last three minutes and eight seconds and maybe this one will go into overtime Arizona State's on a seven to nothing run in the past minute and 28 in this game Arizona will get the ball the Wildcats with the ball now dribbling towards the right wing with it Dylan Smith feeds the ball back to the top of the key and now the ball goes into the hands of Brandon Randolph dribbling towards his right tries to lob it inside Jeter in there, and Jeter too strong, and he gets fouled. So Chase Jeter will go to the line. Looks like Cheatham picked up the foul. So Chase Jeter at the line for Arizona. Two for two tonight. He's 65% shooting from the line. We have two minutes, 52 seconds left. Arizona's down by three. Jeter with the ball in his hands as the ref gives it to him to shoot his free throws. First shot goes from the line. There's been a ton of fouls in this game. Usually a lot of my streams end by now, but we're over the two-hour mark. In the stream. This has been crazy. So the first shot from the line goes. Second one goes. We got a one point game. And this game doesn't look like he's it's gonna end anytime soon. First in the pack 12 for free throws by Arizona, shooting 74.4%. Left corner fake out goes to the left elbow jumper, and he's fouled. As that will be Rob Edwards who had the ball for Arizona State. So Arizona picks up another foul. Both of these teams are shooting in the bonuses for their free throws. And Dylan Smith just fouled out. He picked up his fifth for Arizona. So we have 2.42 left to go. The Sun Devils will go to the line. Rob Edwards, who shoots 90% from the line, hits his first, 76-74. A lot of foul trouble for Arizona. Dylan Smith's out. Ira Lee has four fouls. Then Alex Barcelo and Devonair Dutrieve at three. Here's the second one, and it doesn't hit. And Rob Edwards couldn't get that one to connect, and it's rebounded by Arizona, taking past the timeline. With the ball now for the Wildcats. Down by two. 76-74. Edwards, 17 points in this game for the Sun Devils. As Arizona now has a ball and it's stolen. Oh, and it goes out of bounds. That could have been a clear bucket if Arizona State had stole that one and had tipped the ball in the possession of play, but they tipped it out of bounds. That was, I think that was Rob Edwards who had his who had the clear look in red. Red where Arizona was going to pass the ball to, and he tipped that ball 
but the ball just went too far next to the baseline and out of bounds. Arizona down by two, trying to dribble inside. Oh, this game's tied up at 76. The basket off the glass, up and in with 2.08 left to go. Justin Coleman hits that one. He has 14 points on the night. Arizona State with the ball. As this is behind the arc basketball on YouTube, I do live play-by-play -play and reactions to college basketball games throughout the season all the way through the March Madness tournament. So feel free to like my video, share, and subscribe as well. Arizona State with the ball trying to back their way inside. A minute 46, and they get the roll, and the bucket, and the foul for the Sun Devils. With a minute 46 left to go, the score is 78-76, and Arizona State will go to the line for one. Trying to back his way in there was Romello White against Chase Jeter. And Romello White got the bucket to fall for Arizona State. And they'll go to the line. The Sun Devils fans here at Tempe are pumped up. Romello White shooting one at the line. He hits it. So three-point game. Minute 46. Arizona down by three. Arizona with the ball. A minute and 42. Left to go as they take it past the timeline. Dribbling, trying to go inside, and Arizona State trips. Arizona. That was Lou Dort who picked up the foul for Arizona State. He has four fouls as a team, so both of these teams in deep, deep foul trouble in this game could certainly go into overtime as well. 79-76 to the line is Justin Coleman. For the Wildcats shooting 79% from the line. Here's his first. Hits it. So I haven't updated the chat in a while. I usually do this during commercial break. With the score. But we haven't had a commercial break in a while. And this game's winding down. So I'll do it here. 78-79. And we have a minute 30. Left to go. Arizona State up by one, and they have the ball. Dribbling with it is Remy Martin towards the right side behind the three-point line, trying to work his way inside. And he feeds the ball down low to the baseline. And a reverse hand layup could not go in by Rob Edwards, but he's fouled. And Rob Edwards for Arizona State will go to the line to shoot two. As we thank you for joining in, this is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. And feel free to like my video, share, and subscribe as well. I'll be doing play-by-play -play and live reactions to college basketball games throughout the regular season all the way up and through the March Madness tournament as well. 90% from the line by Rob Edwards from the season. He hits his first. The score, 80-78 to 78 as Rob Edwards hits his first three for, free throw for Arizona State. 7 for 10 tonight from the line by Edwards. A minute and 18 left to go. Rob Edwards. Trying to make this game an 81-78 game. He does. Sun Devils up by three. Arizona with a ball. Timeout on the floor, and I'll update the chat here again. Thank you for tuning in. This is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube, and feel free to like my videos, share, and subscribe as well to my channel. I'll be doing live streams, play-by-play, -play, live reaction to college basketball games throughout the regular season all the way in through the conference tournament and, of course, the March Madness tournament as well. 81-78, minute and 18 remaining in the second huge game for both of these teams as of the brackets for Bracketology here as this is a huge game for the tournament. Washington and clear first right now in the Pac-12 at 8-0 in the Pac-12. And then it looks like the Pac-12 can only have one more team in the tournament as it's been underwhelming this season. So could it be Arizona or could it be Arizona State? This game goes a long way to tell. We still got all the way to March as well for college basketball. But, yeah, this every game counts. And this one's huge for Arizona, who's 14-7. and seven. Arizona State, who's 14-6. and six. Both of these teams are 5-3 and three in conference play. USC and Utah are 5-2, and two, and Washington up in first in the Pac-12, 8-0. Arizona with the ball trying to drive inside, and they get it up and in to go. So that's a two-pointer for the Wildcats. Down by one, Brandon Randolph hit that one, 81-80. Sun Devils up by one, 53 seconds remaining. Arizona State with the ball. 
as it's into the hands of Remy Martin. They're dribbling along with it. Cheatham with the ball as now they're passing it inside and Cheatham gets it up and in off the window and scores 83 to 80. Zylan Cheatham, nine points, 15 rebounds tonight. Arizona with the ball, 83 to 80, 33 seconds remaining. The Wildcats have the ball in their hands behind the arc. It's into the hands of Justin Coleman. Three ball from the outside and he hits it. 25.8 seconds remaining. Justin Coleman has 19 for the night for Arizona. Tie game at 83. Timeout on the floor. What a game in the battle for Arizona. I'm going to update the chat again. Thank you all for tuning in. This is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube, where I'll be doing live streams and my play-by-play -play live reaction to college basketball games throughout the season. And next Thursday, I'll be doing Arizona against Washington. Arizona's at home for that one. So I'm just going to check the seconds here left to go in the game. I think we have 18 Seconds as I'm going to update the chat. 19.1. So the refs put 19.1 seconds <clears throat> back on the clock. This game's tied up at 83. Incredible game for both of these teams. Feel free to like my videos, share, subscribe, spread the word as well about my channel. As I'll be doing live streams and my play-by-play -play live reaction to all these college basketball games as possible that I can throughout the season. Next Thursday, I'll be doing Arizona against Washington. Huge game there, especially the Huskies when they're still undefeated in the Pac-12. Saturday, I'll probably have the 2 p.m. game, North Carolina against Louisville. And I might do Michigan State against Indiana at 6 p.m. on Saturday. And then Tuesday... I might do Boston College Duke as Arizona State has the ball with 15 seconds left. We're back to action in this one. 13 with the ball in his hand is number one. Remy Martin with eight seconds passes the ball off to Romello White and back to Lou Dortz with four. Dortz with three with a three pointer and he short. He air balls the three pointer as time expires. It's tied up at 83. The ball was also touched out of the bounds, so the refs will meet to see if they'll put any time back here on the on the clock here for the game clock. Thank you all for tuning in here. Huge, huge game. Three-pointer from the right wing outside taken by Lou Dort, and he airballed it, but it was tipped out of the hands of Romello White, who tried to control as he was guarded by Jeter down low, and White couldn't handle the ball. Ball got out of his hands. And the ball went out of bounds. The refs are going to discuss to see if they'll put any time back on the clock. If so, it looks like it's going to be around. As we see on the replay, 1.1 seconds when the ball hit the baseline. So Arizona, depending on who has possession, I, I believe it was last touched by the Sun Devils. So I think that Arizona will have 1.1 seconds left, but they're on the wrong side of the court to do it though, and have no timeouts as well. So I'm going to update the score here for you guys. 83, 83. Thank you for joining me. And here's this is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube, and I do live streams of college basketball games throughout the season all the way in to the March Madness Tournament. So the refs are discussing right now what time that ball went out of bounds as this game's tied up at 83. As we're doing this, looking at what's kept Arizona in this game today has been the three-pointers. 14 for 27 from behind the arc, making 14 three-pointers in this game. Arizona State's only hit eight. They're eight for, eight for 17 from the field right now in this game with three-pointers. I'll look into the box score, too, to see who's leading the scoring. It looks like it's uh, Remy Martin leading Arizona State with 23 points, 8 assists, 
as well. Coming into this game, fourth in the Pac-12 in assists, and then four guys in double figures for Arizona. Justin Coleman leading the way with 19 points, and then Brandon Randolph, Ryan Luther with 17 points for the Wildcats. Dylan Smith with 11. As we thank you for joining me in here, this game, man, gone down to the wire. Both of these teams so evenly matched coming into this game. <clears throat> As the refs will look this one over. <clears throat> to see how much time we got left on the clock. <clears throat> it looks like the ball hit the baseline of about 1.1 seconds remaining. We'll see what the refs determine. They're still meeting here, looking at the monitors to see what the time is for this one. But feel free to like my channel, spread the word, and subscribe as well. Tuesday night, I'll be streaming at 7 p.m. If I'm able to, if they don't black out the game, I should be streaming the Boston College at Duke game. I'm from New England. That's the only only thing. So sometimes they black out the Celtics for me since I'm in the area on ESPN on um, if I try to stream it online or so. So hopefully I can get that one. And then next Thursday, I'll do I'm going to do Washington against Arizona. That's the 9 p.m. game Eastern time for that one. That's the tip-off, 6 p.m. Pacific. So let's see right here what the rolling is. 83 to 83. It's under review with 0.4 seconds remaining. Huge game here. And feel free to like my video, share, and subscribe as well as this is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. And what I do is that I do play-by-play -play and live reactions to all these college basketball games as much as I can all do throughout the regular season all the way into the conference tournament. So this is what happened. Arizona will get the ball with 0.4 seconds left. This game's tied up at three. Arizona needs to go all the way down the other side of the court to score. It's basically impossible. They have zero timeouts. Arizona just chucks it up. The ball gets tipped out of the hands. We're going to overtime. So end the regulation. We are heading to overtime. Thank you all for joining me. This is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. Fantastic game for the Battle of Arizona. 14 and 7, Arizona in the Wildcats, 5 and 3 in the Pac 12 with 83 points. Arizona State with 83 points, 14 and 6, 5 and 3 in the Pac 12 as well. I'm going to update the chat in the score here so we're all on the same page and we know that this game is going to overtime. And then we'll get to overtime and see what happens. In this game, but wow, this is incredible. Oh, this is incredible. So overtime, here we come. This is my first game that I've ever streamed that has gone into overtime. I've done some really, really close games that I've streamed, but I've never had one that's gone into overtime. So this is great. Thank you, guys for supporting my channel as this is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe as well. Five-minute overtime period here. This game's taking place at the Wells Fargo Arena at Tempe, Arizona. What a game for the March Madness bracket. Both of these teams on the bubble. This game goes a long way to possibly helping out one team get into the tournament. And the other team into the NIT. One game could be the deciding factor between first one out and last team in the bracket. So we have a five-minute overtime with the ball at the circle right now. The ref will hold the ball up and it'll be tipped off. Arizona State will control the tip off with 4.55 left to go. So the Sun Devils have the ball first. 83-83, Remy Martin with the ball, dribbling to his right behind the perimeter. Remy for the jumper, deep two, no good offensive board, up and in by Zylan Cheatham. 85-83, 4.38 left to go. So Arizona State strikes first, then the Sun Devil. Zylan Cheatham has a double-double, 11 points, 16 rebounds. Arizona with the ball, trying to take it inside and kick it back outside. Trying to go inside again, Arizona, they kick it back outside to the right wing. And they set up the offense here behind the top of the key. 
So Arizona still with the ball. Arizona trying to dribble inside. They float up the shot. No good. Rebounded by Cheatham of Arizona State. Arizona with a weird floated up shot that they did. And the Sun Devils have the ball. Arizona State. Four minutes remaining. They are up by two. 85-83. The ball into the hands of Lou Dort. Lou Dort. Hands the ball off to Remy Martin. Martin now trying to go inside. Right hand layup. And no, he cannot get it to go. But he's fouled on the play. And Remy Martin will go to the line for two. Another big night by him tonight. I'm going to update the chat again. So we're on the same page of the score here. 83. 85. Make it 86 for Arizona State. 348 left to go. So the first shot from the free throw line hits for the Sun Devils. Here's the second one by Martin. Hits as well. So Arizona State on this 4 0 run, 87 83. Arizona with the ball now. Remy Martin, a career high, 25 points for ASU tonight. Arizona with the ball, dribbling right perimeter, feeds the ball inside to Chase Jeter, backing his way inside for Arizona, Jeter, and he's fouled by Cheatham. So Jeter will go to the line for two for Arizona, as we thank you all for joining me, as this is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube, feel free to like my videos share and subscribe and what a game we have tonight this channel just got started like a couple of weeks ago so i'm trying to build it up and keep on building up up as time goes on throughout the season and into the tournament as jeter's first shot is a miss from the line as arizona cannot afford to miss free throws right now at this junction as a, we have three minutes 27 seconds left in overtime jeter missed his first shot from the line four for five tonight from the free throw line Second shot for Jeter. No good as well. Rebounded by the Sun Devils. And they're slowing down the tempo. They take it past the timeline with 3.16 remaining in OT. <laughs> Lou Dort with the ball in his hands. The left side behind the perimeter. And top of the key three, deep three. Oh, he hits it from the outside. Number one, Remy Martin with a career night. For Arizona State, 5 for 6 from the 3-point range. 28 points tonight. We have a timeout on the floor. The Sun Devils running away with this one in OT. 90-83, to 83, Arizona State. Huge shot deep from the top of the key outside by Remy Martin with his career high tonight. I'll update the chat again here with a score. Thank you for joining me. What a game. We have tonight. Two fifty-eight left in OT. Ninety to eighty-three. So we have a timeout on the floor. Those of you who are gonna hope to wait to watch Gonzaga against BYU is gonna have to wait a little bit longer since that game already started or so. But wow. Arizona State with a huge clutch shot from the outside. Both of these, yeah, both of these teams shooting the ball really, really well from the outside in this one. Arizona shooting the ball at 51.9% from the three-point range. Arizona State shooting the ball at 50% from behind the arc. Arizona State today for the game shooting the ball. Tremendous how they're shooting the ball at a 56.9% from the field right now. 29 for 51. Arizona shooting the ball 27 for 64. That's good for 42.2% from the field. Sean Miller currently 14 and 4 against Arizona State, while Bobby Hurley, the Arizona State coach, has never beaten Arizona. This could be his first if he could close it out with the last 258 left. Seven point game. We're going back to action right now. As we thank you for joining me in, this is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. Feel free to like my videos, share, and subscribe as well. I'll be doing play-by-play -play live reactions to college basketball games throughout the season and, of course, in through the March Madness Tournament.
Arizona with the ball, down by seven. 240 left to go. They need a shot to fall to get back in this one. As Arizona behind the perimeter now, left side, and we have another foul by Arizona State. This is the longest stream that I've ever done so far. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Yeah, I can't show the actual game because if I do that, I get a copyright strike. But, yeah, I've been doing this, like, play-by-play -play live reaction stuff for a little bit. And I've seen that this has been, like, the best thing that works. I've seen, like, a couple people do it with, like, the NFL and stuff. And they've been, like, really su successful, like, over, like, 60,000 subs or so. So I started out a couple weeks ago with college basketball. And I'll see how it goes, like, throughout the tournament, hoping to get, like, a bunch of people throughout the tournament to sub in. So Arizona hit both of their shots from the line. The score 90, 90 to 85. Sun Devils up by five. Arizona State with the ball. Ryan Luther hit both of those shots from the line. For Arizona, the two and the slam up and in. Lou Dort slams it down for the Sun Devils. 16 points tonight. 92-85. Arizona State's up. Arizona with the ball. And they couldn't get it to fall. Rebounded by the Sun Devils. <clears throat> 92-85, Arizona State with two minutes left in OT with the ball. Up by seven. Zylan Cheatham has 19 rebounds for the Sun Devils. The rest of the team has 15. So Zylan Cheatham just absolutely owning the boards tonight for Arizona State. A minute 45 left to go. ASU with the ball. And they throw it baseline in there, stripped away. Arizona gets the ball back. This is interesting. And... Arizona State almost stole it back, but I believe two of the players collide and Arizona State will pick up a foul. So Arizona goes back to the line for two because both of these teams are in the double bonus. We have a minute 37 left. I'll update you guys again with the score. Arizona needs to start scoring here to get back in the game, and they do convert from the line. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, some of the streams that I've been doing, it depends on, like, the fan base or so. So, like, some of the streams, even though I've done, like, top 25 teams, I've seen that some of the streams don't have, like, a strong fan base or so to it. But this game is absolutely huge. So, 87-92 in Arizona State. Had the ball, and there's a timeout on the floor with a minute 27 left. Oh, shoot. My bad. Um, 92. But, yeah, it depends on all of the fan base or something. Because I streamed the Virginia Tech-Miami game last night. Virginia Tech is ranked 12th right now in the AP Top 25, and I didn't get, like, many, many views out of that at all. But I did uh, the stream North Carolina against Virginia Tech the week before that. And there were like an incredible amount of UNC fans watching that game. As Arizona State just missed a shot, they got their own offensive board. So Arizona State's up 92 to 87 with a minute left. And Arizona State trying to drive inside. And no, the ball could not go. And it's rebounded by Chase Jeter of Arizona. And Arizona State follows him. So Arizona to the line. I'll update this again. Thank you all for tuning in. Feel free to like my channel, share, and subscribe as well. What a great game we have here. 92-87 and Arizona back to the line. Chase G there will be shooting two from the line as he is 65% on the season. And he hits his first, so it's 92-88. As the other game going on right now, Gonzaga against BYU. That's the only top 25 game going on right now. Gonzaga's beating BYU 21-9 to early in that one. Another top 25 game that went on today, Purdue continuing their success. They beat Michigan State on Sunday. I, I had the stream for that one, and then they played against Penn State today. That one went into overtime, and they were victorious there. So Arizona missed the second free throw, but they get their own offensive rebound. Down by four, 45 seconds left. 
left. Arizona missed the shot inside, rebounded by the Sun Devils. 40 seconds left. 92 to 88. Arizona State is up. The Sun Devils take the ball past the timeline. 33 seconds left. Arizona needs to follow. And they do with 30.2 seconds left in OT. So thank you all for tuning in. This is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. Feel free to like my videos, share, and subscribe. And what I do, I do is play-by-play -play and live reactions to these college basketball games throughout the season all the way through the March Madness tournament. So I can't wait for that. I can't show the actual stream that's going on TV right now because if I do so, I'll get a copyright strike in there. So I can't do that. But pretty good way to listen to us right here. So Arizona State at the line hits their first one, 93-88. Sun Devils up now with 30.2 seconds left in OT. <laughs> Remy Martin with a 29-point career night for ASU, trying to make it 30. He does. 94, Arizona State. 88, Arizona. 25 seconds left. Arizona with a ball. Arizona needs a three to cut the deficit to three if they can. 21 seconds left. We have a foul by Arizona State. So Arizona will go back to the line. And I started up this site two weeks ago. I started this live stream site because I noticed that there was like a couple of people doing like play-by-play -play live reaction for like the NFL and stuff. Some of the people did it for the NBA, but I, I've never seen somebody do it for college before. So I wanted to try and see how this went and seeing as pretty good so far. So Alex Barcelo to the line for Arizona, the score is 94 to 88. This game is absolutely huge for both of these teams. For March Madness tournament resumes, looks like the Pac-12 will probably have two teams come March and tournament time, and Washington looks like one of those teams. As the shot from the line by Barcelo, he misses that. That's a crucial miss for the Wildcats at this juncture in the game. 21 seconds left in OT, and Arizona misses their first shot from the line. So after this game, I'll go into like a five-minute post game or so, just recapping the stats from this game. Crazy amount of scoring in this one. He missed his second Arizona State with a ball with 17 seconds left as they got the rebound. 14, 13. Arizona trying to foul. They don't. Nine seconds left. Arizona State still with the ball. The foul is committed with 7.4 seconds remaining. Arizona, you're down by six. And they left like 13 seconds to run off the clock there. As Arizona State looking for their last win against Arizona, which was back on February 7th, 2015. This is a huge step forward for the Sun Devils in this one. They, they beat Kansas in non-conference play, which really, really helped them out. Looks like they're going to win here. Shot from the line by Remy Martin. Career night, 31 points. He hits that one, 95-88. Arizona State's up with 7.4 seconds left in OT. <laughs> Remy Martin with a second one, and no good. Arizona gets the rebound. Three seconds, two seconds, three ball, no good. Rebound by Arizona State. This game's over. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, that's what I try to incorporate into all this stuff. Enthusiasm, energy. I What I used to do in college is that I used to be like a radio show host when I was in college like a few years ago. I used to be a radio show DJ. That's actually what my day job is. I work for – I'm not a radio show host anymore, but I work as a production director doing like voiceover stuff for commercials at my local radio station. But, yeah, it's pretty cool, but I – I've never done like sports play by play before, but I thought that this would be like a great step to like get me into the door and stuff like that. Because when I was in college, I always focused on like all the production work and all that stuff for the radio station there. But yeah, I always had like an interest in doing play by play. So yeah, definitely. So definitely. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. And for the rest of you guys, so that's the end of the game. Thank you so much for tuning in. Arizona State victorious, 95-88 to 88 in this one. I'll update the chat 
right here. I'll go into a little bit of the box score for like five minutes before I sign off or so. So Arizona State winning this one, 95 to 88. This one has gone final as the Sun Devils improve to 15 and six overall, six and three in the Pac-12 right now in there. They improved to 10 and two at home on the season. A huge win for them. Arizona drops to 14 and eight overall, five and four in the Pac-12. Hard to imagine Arizona not being in the March Madness tournament. The last time that they missed out on the NCAA tournament, well, you have to go back to 2012 for that one. But last season, when they were in the NCAA tournament, Arizona lost to Buffalo in the first round. I think Arizona was the four seed and Buffalo was the 13 seed. But yeah, Arizona really needed to turn things around tonight on the road. That would have been a huge game for them to win. And they lost that one as Arizona State taking the upper hand. And then the Wildcats right now have lost three straight games on the road. And they'll play their next two at home. Very, very crucial game. I'll have that one for you guys next Thursday. 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific. That's Arizona hosting Washington, who Washington right now is number one in Pac-12 play. Just going to go over some of these box score stuff before I sign off. Ryan Luther and Justin Coleman leading the way with the Arizona Wildcats with 19 points tied in the scoring. Tonight, 17 points by Brandon Randolph tonight, and then Dylan Smith with 11 points. For Arizona, career night for Remy Martin for Arizona State. 31 points tonight for the point guard from Chatsworth, California. Remy came into this game fourth in the conference in assists per game. He has 31 points that he scored tonight. He also had eight assists. And how about Zylan Cheatham just absolutely, absolutely destroying everybody on the boards tonight. 17 defensive rebounds, five offensive rebounds for a total of 22 rebounds in this one. That is incredible for Zylan Cheatham for that. He also added 11 points as well, so a double-double for him. And then also in there, Rob Edwards added 19 for Arizona State, and Lou Dort added 15 for Arizona State. One of the biggest plays of the game was the Lou Dort alley-oop with about six minutes left over the top jam that Lou Dort threw it over a defender. Zylan Cheatham just threw that ball down on the alley-oop. But that's basically about it tonight. I'll go into the team stats before I wrap up. Thank you all for joining me tonight. This is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. A little bit of the team stats before I finally sign off. Arizona State shot the ball at 55.6% from the field tonight. That's good for 30 for 54 from the field. Arizona State shot the ball 27 for 67 tonight, 40.3% from the field. Three-pointers went down for Arizona. Well, they hit 14 of them tonight at 50%, and Arizona State was 47.4 from behind the arc, good for 9 for 19. The rebounding game, Arizona State has out-rebounded 18 of their opponents this season out of the 21 teams that they faced. Again, they did it tonight, out-rebounding Arizona 38 to 34. As I'm looking at the box score, nothing really sticks out tonight that much. Oh, Arizona did it. Arizona State had four blocks. Arizona had zero. But yeah, there were a lot of fouls in this one. Yeah, 26 fouls by Arizona and 23 by Arizona State. But that's just about it. For tonight, so the Arizona Wildcats fall to 14 and 8 overall, 5 and 4 in Pac-12 play, and the Arizona State Sun Devils victorious in OT in this one, 95 to 88. They win. They improve to 15 and 6, 6 and 3 overall in Pac-12 play. That just about wraps it up for tonight. I'm hoping to do a couple more games over the weekend. I'm looking into possibly doing the North Carolina Louisville game, 2 p.m. on Saturday. I might have that one. For you guys, and I might have the Michigan State game against Indiana as well, 6 p.m. on Saturday. And then Tuesday night, hopefully I can have Boston College against Duke do that stream for you guys if I'm able to. I know I live like kind of near I'm I'm from New England, so that's the only thing. I'm not sure if they're gonna allow me to get the stream because of like blackout stuff. Sometimes I can't get the Celtics when I'm trying to stream the game 
online. It depends on like area blackout. So hopefully I'll be able to get BC versus Duke. And then for sure next Thursday, I, I know I'll be back at it 9 p.m. Eastern time, 6 p.m. Pacific with Washington against Arizona. But that just basically does it for tonight. Feel free to like my videos, share and subscribe. And what a game tonight. This is the longest that I've ever done a stream on here. Thank you all for tuning in. This is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube, and feel free to like my videos, share, and subscribe, and spread the word about my channel as well. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a nice night. Arizona State winning in this game 95-88. to 88.